Okay, we are live and waiting for people to come in. On my chat here. Hi, Joyce. Hey, Galena. I'm actually on time, I think, <laughs> which rarely ever happens. The last minute, I'm like, crap, I need to reboot my computer. So hopefully, we won't have any issues. Hey, Shauna. You quit soda? Oh, my God, Kalita. I, I've been trying to, like, drink a little water and soda, like, you know, mixing it. But I don't think I could ever give it up. So I've been drinking like water and like the, I like the carbonated water. <laughs> so I don't, and mineral water, I don't like the plain. It's got to be carbonated. I mean, unless it's like a get in the middle of the night, I'll drink water out of the sink. But yeah, you know I mean, I don't like water. So what else is left to drink? And I don't like coffee. I drink orange juice and milk and you can't drink that all the time. So. Oh, and smoking. Well, that's good. I'm glad you quit smoking. It's going okay. That's a lot to give up all at once. Hi, Kia. Hi, Buttons. Hi, Wendy. Hey, Beth. Hey, AJ. Hey, Janet. Was my timing good? Uh, was Shauna done? I didn't mm -hmm. even check. I just went on 6.30. I was talking to my daughter right before I got on here. And then I was out getting my hair done today. Thank God. My hair is thick, thick, bushy mess. And a lot of roots. Yeah, you were done? Awesome. So uh, to, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show some of my new stuff. And then I'm going to, um, we're going to, to do the foam head out of the Karen Campbell book. So when I was at the grocery store, they had these and I was like, you know, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to make it. I'm going to do this. It'd be easy. And I'm saying it's easy and watch it not be easy <laughs> and fun. And I bought her a dollar store uh, little thing. So she looks all hippie. So, yeah, dollar store had these little scarves. So I got and I went to look for storage bins. I was like, hey, they look good on my doll head. So yeah, we wanted to be cool. So cool. They're the, they're, I think the hair is going to be the worst part. I, I, for, I don't know how I'm going to do the hair. I think on hers, I think the hair looked the weirdest. So we are going to work on this, but I'll show you some of my new purchases before we start. Her hair do. Yeah, we're going to paint hair on top of her. And we're going to paint paint hair. So that's the part I think I'm a little nervous about is the hair part. <laughs> that's a good idea. That's a good idea. If I don't like her hair, I could just put a wig on it or a hat. I could put a, I could put a hat on her head, too, because... Um, you know, with summer coming, um, I don't know if the dollar store gets them or not, but I know Target gets cheap. Um, and the dollar section will get the cheap, like, floppy sun, like the, uh, I made my camera move. The floppy, uh, the floppy sun hats. Could get her a big floppy sun hat, put on her head if I don't like uh, how her hair looks. <laughs> could do that too. Or we could take the scarf off and we could tie it around her head like she's an old lady. Like, you know, you ever seen her always going around, you know, running into the stores with her scarves on her head. So I could also do like the old lady, like, scarf over the head thing. If nothing makes you look old and go around with a scarf on your head. I see him. I'm like, oh, you shouldn't do that. You should not do that. So yeah, we I could also do that, <laughs> but then, yeah. 
So I was like, get a hat, get a cute little hat to wear. Don't wear a scarf over your head. Get a cute little knitted hat, you know, crocheted hat or something cute. Protect your ears, you know. <laughs> Baby star. Right, but a ball cap. Yes, anything. Like I don't and when the old ladies wear these, it looks like old lady. You know, it's like don't wear it like a, don't make this into a hat. It's not a hat. It's a scarf. It's not a hat. I, I see that and I'm always like, ugh. I'm not here like I, you know what I mean? I'm not like the big fashion person, but when I see that, I'm always like, you could do so much better. Put on a cute hat. I mean, you know, just get something that goes with everything. Get a black one or tan one or one that would go with a lot of outfits too, you know. So um, that's my that's my fashion recommendation today. Don't wrap this around your head. Get a hat. <laughs> uh, let's see. So is I wait? Did Eileen come in? I missed her. I'll wait for Eileen to get here so I can show what I bought. I know that she she is not well, she's not talking yet. So I'll wait till Eileen gets in. So no turban. Yeah, no, yeah, we don't want to do a turban. Yeah, no. <laughs> no turban either. Now they had a, at the dollar store, they had and um they had uh infinity uh, oops, I didn't mean to hide that. Sorry. Put the little pictures up. There we go. It went through. I, said I clicked on the wrong thing. Um, infinity scarves. So you can always even put a hat on her and they had infinity scarves at the Dollar Tree. And you could put those around her neck if it was sitting on the thing. But they were navy blue. So I was like, eh. And I'm feeling navy blue. So. I don't wear navy, I wear blue jeans, but not navy blue. So I wasn't feeling it. It's like, that's not going to match my art stuff. So no, baby, no. Um, I just got to do, I took a picture because Vaughn, um, Vaughn was asking about, uh, you know, what I bought the other day. So. You know, I took a picture um, that everybody maybe hasn't seen it. So I bought this to try. This is, uh, it says it's magnetic primer paste. And Lord. So I bought it to try out because I don't know. I've never seen it. And it's black paste. So, I mean, it has its advantages. So um, the back of it says it can be used as a primer underneath acrylic paint, so you could use it as like a gesso primer. Also creates a magnetic surface to any color, so can be used on its own to create a magnetic chalkboard surface. So if you wanted to use this in a household item, you could actually make this into a chalkboard surface. I thought that was interesting. That's not why I bought it though. Um, so I bought um, several of these. There are two bucks. I like using these. I bought like four, I think. I like using these when I'm using the magazine images. Um, and uh, on any, just because they tear so easy. And if you're not mod podging them down and you try to do a glue stick on um, a magazine item, it will tear. Um, it, it will, especially if it's a cheap, cheap magazine paper, it will tear. And so I like using these on magazine images I'm going to put down. If I'm not going to be putting paint on top, I don't need to Mod Podge it down. I love using the roller tapes on magazine images. So because the glue stick will tear it. And I know that because it happens all the time. So, hey, Eileen. Hi, Kimberly. So... Here is uh, what I got. So um, I have these already, but I did re especially my favorite one is actually this one with the eyes. Um, since they were $2, normally 10, they had the mermaid one, but I've, I never used the mermaid tape I have. So I did not repurchase that, but I did buy, buy them. And I bought the bow bunny, which I thought was interesting. It cost 
two bucks more than this one and it originally retailed for eight two dollars cheaper but it cost two dollars more so i can't you know the math doesn't add up but i have no idea but i bought it because i bought the stamps to go with it i bought the butterfly stamp and i bought the little um uh jars and since i bought the stamps i went ahead and bought the tape that goes with it but the math doesn't add up at all hi kathy i love this this was i was like oh this is so hippie cool right with uh with the guitar the feather here's a little hair thing glass so i think this is a music note and I had this issue with a lot of the Tuesday morning things. They they put the stickers over top of the images. And like, it's I didn't even know what was underneath here because it doesn't even show it on the back. I was like, well, I guess it's like, a you know, surprise. This is what's underneath. I'm assuming it was music notes. And I was right because I could see this. And I was like, I think they're music notes. And I noticed that with a lot of their stuff. Like, why don't they put the sticker up here? Like, on this part. Why would you put it over top of the stamp? You want to see what you're buying, especially when there's nothing on the back. Like, there's nothing on the back. You know, you know, some would be on the back. So, anyway, that's my pet peeve is there's a lot of stickers blocking stuff on more than just this set of stamps. And I, I think it just... I don't know who does it. Machine does it. I mean, because this was down bottom. This one's up top. But I don't like that. But it's only Tuesday mornings because they don't, they have their own skew and they don't use the one on the back. So that's why they had the dumb stickers. But it's worth it, I guess, for the good price. Right? And just go, why are these in over top of the things you're buying i want to yeah it's like you know it's a minor pet peeve but i just want to see what i'm buying you know what i mean anyway the i got the jars but i was telling you that the tape the tape matches the jars so here's the jars and i have some jar stamps uh, and i never use them but i seem to collect jar stamps um, but I like this because it has the little straight, see again, covering it up, um, is, um, you could do, um, I like the little buttons, look buttons, stamp buttons, <laughs> stamp buttons, but I, I like that you can, you know, run, draw a draw a line or whatever to have these hanging overhanging which i thought was kind of nice i don't know if i've seen stamps like that so again stupid stickers right i like jar i have a whole bunch of jar stamps so i at least, at least these don't take up room like collecting actual jars but this one's cute here because i like um that you could um it even has a little um thing so if you want to put a little label on it or whatever um, so I got another set of butterfly stamps. I do have another set. These again are just like the ones on the stickers uh, are washi. But I bought this set because it's different than the other butterfly stamp set. And when I saw all the bow bunnies from the YouTube videos that were there, I actually went through my drawer of them and videoed ones I had. So I went to the store. I could double check and not duplicate, which I um, so I did not have that one and I did not have this one. I love the honeycomb. Uh, I like this design a lot. And, and then I got this one, which is a tree trunk and crackle. And I don't know what that is, but it's just the texture. So the other I did buy, they had two sets of these, uh, two patterns. I did the other one. I was, a, it was okay, but I really like these with the flowers i like those so that was my and a bunch of these <laughs> most expensive thing i bought was this the bow bunny um primer paste that was the most expensive thing i bought hopefully that won't be a dud or dried out because you never know um let's see you didn't buy any of those? Hmm. 
could draw flowers coming out of them. Oh, the jars. There you go. She could draw a little, or you could use the Timmy stamp and with the little, I think you get the delicate one or even the dye and punch out the dye flowers and put it coming out of the, you know, um, things. Yeah. And it, yeah. Uh, thank you, Joyce. It's, um, it says magnetic primer paste. And I only bought it because it was there. And, you know, I mean, compared to regular fudge, I can't get it to focus at all. Um, I'm sure it's me. Anyway, it's magnetic paste. And I, it says it's for priming. So you can put it down underneath paint. So I think you can use like a gesso. And it also makes for a chalk surface. But I thought it would be fun to the paste. I thought it'd be fun to use for stencils because I really don't have like a black stencil paste not that i couldn't mix black paint with what i have but i thought but you know something new to try <laughs> so my i was reading not helene's comment oh so they're going to house you didn't buy they only had one set of butterflies mine had a, a ton of a ton of those bow bunny stamps a ton of Bo Bunny stamps, a ton of washi tape, a ton of um, texture, a ton of texture plates. Um, there is also a ton of paper embellishments, a ton of new paper. Um, there is a lot. Uh, there is a lot. I quit going because I literally was going in there not finding anything. I mean, I just... And then when I saw her, I was going again. So I was finding nothing good at mine. I just hadn't been gone for weeks, believe it or not. So I got this at Joggles. I watched a video of the girl making this. And this looks like, so what I loved about the this, what sold me on it. I have the little free ones that they give you on the other size. Um, but what I love about it is you it'd it be like making a junk journal or whatever with different size pages. So then you can layer in the butterflies. I like this because it would look like a moon. And then you add these in between, you know, in between like your bigger sheets. And so it makes like a, almost like a, a junk journal. You know what I mean? So after I saw that, I was like, ooh. And I also I already have this size too, which they sent like free with some orders a long time ago. So then I can like put all these inside of it and just make my own album. And I like that idea. So, and this is what came with it. And I think they have a set of these. This, these are inch and I think they have inch and a half disc you can buy separately if your book is too big and can't hold a bunch. You can add more to it, but I love the idea it's all watercolor paper, too. So, I was excited about this. Oh, that was really sweet of you to share those. Oh, now, and mine has not had stuff, but lately, like today, when I went yesterday, I had a ton. But lately, they've had nothing. I mean, it was just a waste. I mean, it was like if I was going to go over to Hobby Lobby or Ollie's, it was worthwhile to stop in. But I was not making a special trip there because they weren't getting anything good in. Hey, Fiona. Good to see you. Um, these are, again, from Joggles. I got the Dina Wakely tape. I love um, her handwriting. I especially love that. So my camera is just, is it the light? I'm trying to figure out why it's so out of focus. There. Oh, I had it for a second. Anyway. So actually it might be more clear down bottom than up top. You know, I could do is F and lower my, can, my camera. And it'd be using your brain. Okay. So then I also bought four little um, Prima stamps from... To go with my little mini collection of Prima stamps that I used on uh, the Wonderlust project. Um, so um, I couldn't remember what I had. So I know I didn't have this and I didn't have this one. And I 
pretty sure that this one, this one I may already have. I couldn't remember. So, um, but they're cute and they're tiny. And I think these are fun to have for little projects like the mini binders. They're teeny tiny stamps. So I think it's fun to have. Um, the other thing I bought, oh yeah, I bought this tape. I bought a Finnabar tape with butterflies because I do love butterflies. So, um, so I bought the Finnabar butterfly tape on the bird one. Uh, yeah, the bird one's pretty cute. I, I thought that was cute too. I bought two, three, I have five of these little stencils. This is our ATC stencils, that Joggles brand. So I bought this group and I love these. These are my favorite. Kind of like the, you know, the sisterhood stuff. I like that. So, and I got the, this one. I have most of her stencils. I did not, this one I think was sold out for a really long time. The art by Marlene. And I bought this, which I know Janet bought this too, her other cover, collecting these. <laughs> and uh, and I also bought the Dina paper, which you, there's been a ton of streams with flip through. So, uh, so probably painting last week and she is going to do, oh, she, your daughter's doing pottery painting or your granddaughter. I can't remember. Um, I seen all kinds when I was taking pottery, I saw all kinds of groups of kids coming in and taking pottery lessons. And I thought that was really neat. They were little kids and they were in, I thought that was really cool. I do. I was, um, I, I, at first I know when I, I first heard about it, I wasn't sure because I have the Jane the Davenport paper which I never really use and so I was like oh do I want to get hers like you know what I mean but then I realized I kind of like her stuff better than Jane Davenport so so yeah so I'm glad I bought it it has some really neat images where you yeah, have the back which interesting that the thick card stock in back and the thinner in the front um I think the biggest complaint I'm um, yeah I like her stuff better too than uh Jane Davenport's uh stuff um, the downside to this, which is what I have heard from other people, and I agree. Oh, my God. You're going to cut up a Sabrina Ward Harrison book? No, 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 Joycey. Those are like, I just bought two a couple weeks ago. I think I have one in the collection I don't have. It was like $135, and that ain't never going to happen. So that rate, they like they're you can only get them used. Like you can't get them new anymore. They don't even like you can't buy them new or find them new. Like you go on Amazon, you only can get them used. I would not cut those up. But it's your book and your art. I don't think you should cut them up because they no longer sell them, manufacture them. I should say. Thinking. Okay. I personally would not only because. They only, you can only buy them used. All right. Lecture. It's your art. It's your business. I really should probably have my mouth shut. I my personally, I should say I personally would not. Um, if you like what's in her book with their messy journaling, maybe you could try to duplicate it. Or, or here's a better idea, Joyce. Scan your book. Scan the book. And then tear it up and put it in your collage pages. Then you then you still have your book. Because you're not like, you know what I mean? You're not selling them. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not selling the book. Obviously, you're selling artwork, right? You just like the art in it. So, well, if you could get your hubby to show you how to lay this on your computer, super easy. Scan it. And then print it out, and then you then you will have her artwork to cut up in your books and still have your book. I would scan it and print it, copy it, use it in your book, and then keep your book forever and ever. <laughs> forever and ever. Hi, Lynn.
Lena? That's what I would do. I would make I'd photo I make photocopies of it on your printer. And if you don't have one, go to like, you know, wherever printers are. I don't know. Printer stores, um, etc. <laughs> Uh, the one place, the FedEx or whatever. And then I would just do that. I would just make copies and tear them up for your books. And then if you like it, you can make more and more and more copies. I mean, copies as you want. You know what I mean? Now, this one has little doodads in it. You could even photocopy those. But that's my two cents worth. Oh, yeah, I got this too, actually. So let's see. Poor Joycey. She didn't know she opened up. A, now, Joycey, I sent out your stuff. Oh, cool, Chai. Um, I print. I sent your stuff out, and it will. I think it because of where you live. It Joyce is going to take seven days to get there. So you should have it by hopefully next Thursday or Friday. Um, Eileen and Janet should get theirs tomorrow, hopefully, because they're just, I don't know, it's, it's about where you live. Wherever I ship stuff to you, it takes forever. And, um, but it's going to get to Eileen and, uh, her and two, and Janet in two days, and you will get yours hopefully by Thursday next week. So, before I forget. And anyway, so basically... Thin sheets, thick sheets, lover art. I wish these were single sided. That was what I was saying earlier. I get sidetracked in my head. Oh, you're welcome, Janet. This book here, or this other book, this is the Dina Wakely Collage Collective. And this is 60 double sided printed pages and you get 30 sheets and it's thin paper in the front and then the same things are on the back but it's card stock thick in the back and thin in the front i wish these were single sided and not double sided so you could um you know you don't have to choose like i don't mind on this one using the tags and something plain is on the back you know what I mean? For some of them. But like this one, I could see you wanted this one. Or maybe you want this one. I wish these were single-sided and not double-sided. You don't have, like Eileen said, I wish I would have bought two. And I think that that's kind of maybe the concept of why they did it this way. Because you might buy two books. So that way you can live, give two books. You can use both sides of it if you buy two books. I swear that's their thinking. So if this was single-sided, it wouldn't be an issue. If you bought two of these, you would have one book, you'd use this side, and the other book, you use this side. So that's the only way to make use of it is to get two books, two of these. And that way you can use both sides. So, so I think this should have been single-sided so you don't have to choose. Because they're all really pretty, and I feel like you shouldn't have to choose. So I may end up buying another one of these so I can use both sides. And that's what I decided, kind of decided that next time I place the order for joggles, I'm going to get to another one of these so I can use both sides and not have to choose. It's like, damn it, don't make me choose. Just don't because <laughs> I like all of it. <sighs> You distracted me, Joycey, with tearing up the book. You did. No, it's a travesty. Make copies of it. Don't cut it up. It's not like it's a plain old dictionary book or something like ugly. It doesn't matter, you know. So, the um, almost forgot. The other thing is I got this. Really? She's encouraging. You read somewhere and her encouraging Sabrina to use her book. Well, well, that's dumb because you can't buy them. They're not reproduced anymore. 
like they're not made like you can buy them used they're not you can't go to amazon and get buy them like except for used yeah that doesn't make any sense i'm gonna make photocopies of her book and have it forever because when i mean i'm sure when they're sold used she doesn't make any money from the used book she only makes money when they were new and then she was getting making money. And once they're they're no longer manufactured, she's no longer making money. So I guess she doesn't care if he cut it up. Yep. Yeah, and I mean technically I could scan uh, Dina Wakeley's book if I want to use both sides and then and then make copies of of that too But it'd be cheaper just to buy a new one in terms of hers But in terms of that book since you can't buy the book easily and then the book costs About how well, many book was about the same. I don't know so again, um, I told you I wanted to find some more books on Chinese painting and basically the other was not quite what I was hoping it would be. Um, this one is a little bit better um, in terms of going into uh, step by steps. So, um, so I think that I, I was much happier with this book. Oh, bank page thing. Got it. <laughs> yeah, there'd be none to resell. That's right, Buttons, if, if everyone cut them up. She wants more money. I mean, she should make more books. Hey, KB. So I like that this one has step-by-steps of how to do the peach blossom on this one. And then actually over here, actually over here is like the close-up. Here is the, the painting. Here is the close-up of the peach blossom petals. And then you flip over here and then here is the far away, you know, version of the how to do the limb and then the blossoms. And then you can go over here to see the close-ups. This is really nice. I was really happy with this book. And what I was reading online, everyone who um, likes the Chinese painting, I'll say that they like her, this person's book. I say her. I really don't know if it's a her. It could be a guy. I don't know. It's M-E-I-R-U-O. Everyone said they like this particular person, I should say this person's books. I'll say person because I honestly don't know if that's a girl name or a guy name. So, and it, so I love this book much better than the other book. Again, this one has the close up of how to do the blossoms. And then um, over here goes into, uh, you know, how to do the whole entire thing. So yeah, I like this book. So I was very happy with it. Again, a close-up of how to do the flower. You flip it over, or the blossom, and um, I thought this is better. Here's a morning glory. Step-by-step. -step I like the step-by-step -step details like this. The lotus. I love lotus. I love the lotus flower. So, yeah. So, this book is much better. Here's the iris. And I was super pleased with this book. And everyone said they buy her, this person's book. So I think um, I will, if I get more of the Chinese brush painting, I will buy this, I will buy this person's books because I really like this person's books. And I'm going to keep saying that because I don't know if it's a he or she name. I don't want to be offensive, offending anyone as I don't know. So again, we then get into this section. It gets into vegetables. And then after, yeah, oh, I love the pumpkin. Oh, look at the pumpkin. Oh, I love pepper. I like red peppers. Nasty green peppers. Blech. Ah, I love the I love this one. This would be so fun to do um, for Halloween. And Thanksgiving, just a general pumpkin. Here's a step-by-step -step how to draw it. 
you know, brush it, draw it, and all the way down. Tomatoes. Then you have bugs. This section is bugs. Moss, bees. <laughs> blue butt bee. <laughs> I like the blue butt bee. Just <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's a blue one. I like the blue. Uh, this just made me giggle because I was not expecting like she did a bumblebee in blue instead of, you know, what you're supposed to do. I love this idea. I mean, why not have a blue butt bee? I'm just saying. Um, dragonflies. Yeah, it does, Eileen. And that's why I was thinking, like, that's what I was looking for. And that last book I showed you last week, I was disappointed with it because it did not have the, that was more for advanced Chinese, let's say it's right, Chinese brush painting. Um, it was a little more advanced. So this is a little more for beginners, which is what I need. So, yeah. So again, the goat, the fish, which remember I did the fish. I like that one. That's pretty cool. And again, step by step for the fish, the koi fish, carp fish, angel fish. The angel fish, the ones that Dee Dee's always doing. Here's the angel fish that she's uh, always painting. And then they got crabs, and I love birds. So it's got the birds, got some birds in here. And um, this talks about and when you get into birds, which is kind of cool. Um, but besides the step by step, it shows you how to do the. I can't pronounce it. So Samu, Samu. I painted my fingers from working in my book yesterday. Samu um, stroke. I showered and everything, and I still can't get rid of the paint on me. <sighs> Life of an artist. Stained nails, paint. Um, it, it talks about how to do the strokes and the feathers, and, and I love that it, it goes into the details of how you get how to do this, which is press, you know, first brush. Pressed, oh, oh my god, my glasses on. I'm sorry. That's literally little print. I need my glasses. I will read that when I have my glasses on. Cannot see little print. Um, here's a variety of, of bird postures, which if you wanted to do this bird, but you didn't want it, you know, here's some different postures. Here's some more um, birds with flight with tails and feathers, paint with chins and beaks paint with feet complete because yeah depending on where they were you might not need the feet which kind of makes sense oh i love the chick by the way isn't this chick adorable i love it that's black and it's not like yellow it's like not like a yellow chick it's a i like it. it's black it's got the little black nails all right i'm always covered in like i have stained nails from from inks and paints and the one day I went out and we went out to get my car. I was getting like a like a uh, oil change and stuff. And Tom's like, you have something white. I'd paint on my face. Yeah. So I'd paint on my face. I'm like, oh, my gosh. So I'm like rubbing my face. I went to the like, place with paint on my face. Like I said, paint stains, hands, face. I've had paint in my hair before. Somehow I get paint in my hair too. I mean, I've actually scraped, like going in there and got paint out of my hair. I am so messy. Look at my sleeves. My sleeves all have paint stains. Like, because I'm always cold. Look, there's green paint. There's white paint. It doesn't come out. These are like old ones. And all my sleeves always are stained with paint. <laughs> Nothing stays not, and now my short sleeves are fine. All my long sleeves, yeah. So again, more birds, more birds, more birds, more birds, more birds, and then the back it has some fish, and then it is overview. Oh, I love this. I love this. Look how they put a little pumpkin, and they combined it, and they used um, the dragonfly from the other page. And then I don't know what this says. And combine the two. And then it also shows, uh, and it goes into another version of how to do that. I love that. So anyway, that's that book. 
if you're interested. I like it. I haven't done any more since that stream, but I know I really was like hooked and I know I will. So. So I'm working on, um, was working on yesterday for hours and hours and hours, uh, was, which I'm still not done, but all I got left is a face, is I'm in the Ivy Newport Studio, I think it's called Studio Works Academy, and um, every month she'll have like a whole thing of like projects and sketchbook projects and painting projects and She'll have quotes and things. It's just really, it's just totally different than Lifebook and Wonderless. And I really like it. Now, anyone who is more skilled than I am would really get a lot, like really love it too. This is not just like for, this is, oh, this is really advanced and I'm really like struggling. But, but, you know, I think like if you've got like, uh, CB, he make her own girls and stuff. Like she talks about making your own sketches and girls into this and that. It's like, I don't have my own sketches. I just have to copy what she has because I'm not that good. So, but like somebody, if you really into like uh, CB, Janet, or uh, Dee Dee, anyone with high would could really benefit even. With, and if you're like me, where you're like minimum, you know, yeah, skills. It's still pushing myself to improve my skills. So, like, this is Jan, but I really love the class. So, I'm not complaining. It's saying, like, this would be challenging. Some of the things would be challenging even for people who have got more skill than me is what I'm saying. So, like, this is not part of it. This was something we did a while back. Um, but basically, like the, the January's was like about um, the, the cir uh, circles, and then this was the color palette. And she has a color palette and a theme, and for each month. And so this was like a printout. Yeah, um, <laughs> mechanics wouldn't mind me being messy. Hee <laughs> hee. Exactly. I want to get better at faces. Oh, I so want to get better. That's what I do, Joycey. I totally get it. And this one was like a printout, and we we're supposed to be working on color values for this for this month. And so we used a uh, gold, black, gray, and white uh, goldens. And this was like a little printout, and then I just painted over it, and then she has little excerpts and stuff. And so I love doing this. This was fun. Um, so you go in and use them however you want to use them. Um, she has, I love all the quotes and stuff. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just like it. And then there's this one. This one, I just kind of try to make some clouds, but not very good clouds. But I try to put clouds up here. Um, so yeah, this, so this was part of the January class. And then the other part you all saw that I posted on Instagram was, was to, do some works by uh, Leonardo da Vinci. She did her version. She did a version. Oh, my camera. Darn it. She did a version of this girl is what she did again. But this, this was, I mean, this might be something I may tackle later when my skills improve, but this, this girl was too hard for me to do. That's a girl she did. I picked it the easier da Vinci girl. And again, I used the tinted charcoals. Which first time I've had them, but the first time I used them, I really liked them. And her nose looks like that because that's how the nose looked. Da Vinci's model had the pointy nose. So just saying, that was the nose he drew. And then this was the girl, and she started off. Where'd she go? She started off like this. This was the drawing. And then she gives you the printout. And so I traced this, but she did hers on wood. And I finally decided to do mine in my watercolor book instead of on a wood thing. And then as, as I was going, I'm almost done with the video, but I, all the thing I got left to do is her face. So her face will get darker, like, like the neck and the shoulders. And then, then just adding the eyes and stuff. She's closed eyes. So this would be easy. So, um, so that's the face, but I gotta like do the tone. So I gotta finish her face and um, done. So I'm really happy with this, but this took me a million hours to do. <laughs> 
She did hers in oils. I use acrylics. She did this in oil and she said it was easier to do an oil with all the layers because it started off with different light colors and then progressed to this. And I did in acrylics and this is how it started. And this is where I'm at. So I think I left to do is her face like her hair. She did the hair better than me. You know, what I mean, and all that. But I thought I was pretty happy with it. So um, for me, it's all about um, get, I'm learning shading and coloring. Hi, Tina. Hi, hey, Nick. Um, I like the I guess I'm learning, um, you know, color value and color blending. And so for me, you know, the hair is kind of like eh, her hair definitely was better. But, but I really wasn't too worried about the hair. I was really focused on the color toning like in her neck where it's darker in the middle darker towards the shoulder blades and little things like that like this is just stuff i'm learning and putting some little white on her shoulders and and having the half the dress dark and half of it white and doing and then her face everything's done in gray so this is on purpose like everything i put more white in her hair than her and I put more white on the leaves in her. Hers were more gray. And this was more gray, like all muted with just glowing. And she has a glow going across here. And if she, hopefully she should, I don't know if I can achieve the glow. She had a glow around here. And I, when I tried that watercolor glow, that went really bad. So we'll see if I can. Oh, that's right. So I got to do her face. And then there's like a glow that goes here. Anyway. And there's little, um, oh, sorry, I missed what she typed in. Sorry, let me go back and look at CB's. Yeah, she's, yeah, because she's the teacher. And she also, I think, went to college and she studied um, oils and stuff. That's what she learned. Um, so I think someone, I think that uh, Vaughn would like this class because she does a lot of things and she loves, uh, she said she went to school for oil painting. She has a lot of oil painting. So I, I think Vaughn would like this class too. And like I said, it's called Ivy Newport. Um, this is the first year, the first time she's ever, you know, that this has been launched. And um, it's called Sketch or Studio Works Academy. So I highly recommend it for advanced and unadvanced like me who's wanting to learn. So um, one of the things was like to make circles, um, to write, actually it was to write out things, what kind of art you want to make and then kind of figure it out, scratch it over. I just ended up, since I had the circle stickers we did for the Wanderlust, ended up just gluing, putting them down and write my words around that. There is a page of with ink circles that was part of the lesson. Oh my God, I can't, I don't know if you can see this. I have ink, like yeah, the ink went on all my book all the way through. It was a big damn mess, and I just ripped it out. So, and I still have some ink here. So, the ink, the ink version she had for making a mess with circles and making a face out of it, I failed miserable, and I just pulled it out. And I made, and I made my book messy. So, any future ink things, I will do on a separate sheet of paper that, and then just glue it in the book. You know what I mean? I will glue it in the book and do it on a separate piece of paper and learn my lesson the hard way of not protecting my pages and making a mess. So anyway, so there's February is more like Valentine's colors. Um, that's part of the reason I purchased the, um, the vintage pastels because she actually uses this, this palette for the Valentine's uh, kind of theme for February, which that's when I start on next after I finish this girl. And then March, since it's uh, March, since it's the, you know, um, St. Patrick's Day and stuff like that. And I guess Easter will be. So like she has um, like the girl we're going to be doing. She base she gives you like printouts of like Pinterest page. She has Pinterest boards with all kinds of stuff. You can use that. And then this is the girl, I think it's the girl's face we're using for the month of March. And she draws it and she puts like a Celtic design on part. And she does this just in black and white, it's just a sketch. And then um, the other is we're going to be like painting this. 
on at on an eight by eight board. I'm super excited about this. I love landscape stuff. So you have the cows and the barns. I'm so stoked about this one. I hope I can do this one. I'm more, I don't know, like this would be like, I think I could do this. It won't be as good as hers, but I know I can do this because it's just pencil sketches and you can erase pencil sketches. No <laughs> inks, on the other hand, you. This would be fun. This would be challenging, you know, especially if we're like doing, I don't know if any of the cows or any of this would be in it. Probably not because that would make it hard, but that's, and I don't know what else is in the lesson, but I know that this is on an 8 by 8 painting. I'm super stoked about doing this with her. She has like, I don't know, a couple hours of video to make this. And then there's this sketch with her. And she gives you printouts and everything on all this stuff. And then, you know, like I will add these into to it for the month. And then whatever, I have not printed out the stuff for February. But so it's like I said, it's new. It's it's this was part of her thing to print out for the front of your book. Um, it's new for this year. Like she just like she offered classes. Ivy Newport offered classes before, but she didn't offer the studio works. This is like the new where she the new one. So anyway, I'm liking it. Um, let's see. So um, I picked up my, oh, the other day, I picked up my first, I picked up my first mini inks. <laughs> and uh, uh, Eileen was talking about that she got archival inks and I was like all confused. And anyway, so I, these were at, um, where did I get these at? Joanne's. And they were 40% off. So I got my first. And I don't have actually these colors. I have the the old. I have some of these that are really old. And some of these I got on clearance when Hobby Lobby had the closeouts. But it's my first itty bitty ones. And I love the sky blue. It reminds me. It's not Robin's egg. But it's in that really pretty. These are Wendy. I can't. Whatever name. Wendy Inks. But I like the color. So I picked up these in my first mini ones. And the other thing that I want to do on a future stream is I want to do the super awesome thing I do for a stream um, is Cat Hand had where she uses the tapes and she takes all her bits and pieces and then kind of decorates them and paints them and then uses these strips on her work. Love this. It was Cat Hand's idea. I'm going to do that at some point. So that's on my future stream. Things I want to do is the Cat Hand um, tape thing. Tape, decorative tape. You like the distress archival ink. Yeah, I like. I just really was drawn to those colors. Maybe it's more the Easter colors is why I was kind of drawn to them right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I know I have. I mean, I have. I think I have a couple of her inks that were discontinued over. Like I said, I think I got at Hobby Lobby when those that was going on. But. Um, I have, I think, a couple of her bags that I got at Tuesday mornings. Um, oh, yeah. So then the other thing I got was, of course, I put, I couldn't wait to share it, which was this money, which turns out that uh, Thunder collect, used to collect these and, and has sold most of them. I'd never seen these before. I found this at Tuesday mornings. As where I found this, and I and I, when I saw this big butt tail, like this, it's uh, like a big six, six inch bunny tail. I died laughing. I just was like, no, nah, I was drawing. Once I saw it, 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 it the, the bunny has there's the bunny's artwork, you know, and he's and the bunny has paint on his paintbrush. He, that's his little book or canvas and the bunny painted this egg and he signed it bunny. I mean, he was, you know, I was dying. You know, it's like the bunny signed his own artwork. There's what he made, a little paint on the brush. I don't normally buy it, buy a lot of these things. Cause I go, I can get it, you know, it can get addictive. Cause I used to collect a lot of stuff over the years 
but I had to get it because he was a painter bunny and I like his little cap. He's got the painter cap. So, and then of course a big bunny tail. So anyway, I was like, I was telling Vaughn, I definitely am going to leave this out all year because he's a painter. So he can live in my art room all year. He <laughs> Um, I finally am caught up on, I'm not caught up, but I'm caught up on printing everything out for, for Wonderlust. Oh, uh, you didn't? Yeah, I was looking at, uh, cause I was looking at all the Easter stuff and then I found it and I was like, oh my God. So I'm caught up on all my Wonderlust stuff, like printing it out. And I caught up on that I did not do the last couple classes. What am I up to? Nine? Yeah, I haven't done this class, but I printed it out. So at least I'm caught up on the prints. I'm copying Kathy Caper, so. <laughs> okay. Um, the, and then, here's the difference between that and Lifebook. So I'm taking both classes. Can you see the difference? This is Wonderlust printouts. Same amount of weeks. And this is all the, the printouts for Lifebook. And same amount of time. Well, I have nine. I got 10 weeks on this one. And the 10th one just, the tenth one just came out. I have um, this is one week behind, but this is like uh, I'm too close. But literally, I want you to see like this is. This is Wonderlust, the content from my binder. The Abandoned's the real mascot. That's right. And that's Wonderlust. Like, look at the difference. And this is Lifebooks printouts after week 10. I had bought another binder because this binder is like, almost full and that's up to week 10 so there is a big difference and then they um, have a few pretty little things that she puts out in her artwork so you can have i'm kind of making my own <laughs> um but i have them all like labeled and um from week one all the way up but yeah, there's there's quite a, yeah, it's, it's like we were talking about that, you know, if there's there's a big difference. Um, there's definitely more PDFs and stuff for um, Lifebook than there is for the other. So anyway, uh, anyone's interested, but there the print there's there I think the only one that didn't really have a printout was hers. I just actually kind of did a uh, scan, cut, paste of the artwork and put it in. I think she was the only one that did not have um, a bunch of stuff. But, yeah, there's, uh, I'd say the one that has the most, most would be, um, T would be Tam. I think she has the most details. But, the, you know, there's a huge difference in, um, the content. So I like all the color pictures and stuff. Okie dokie, you getting ready to eat your dinner? All right, Joycey. I'm going to be Mod Podge and paper on the head next. So anyway, so I've got everything caught, printed out for this one. I got it. Week 10 just came out yesterday. So that's why I haven't at least printed it out. So I've spent all day like catching up on these on like uh, Tuesday or Wednesday it was so all right so enough yapping let's start gluing this is the project that we're going to do and I showed you guys. Did you buy a foam head to play along, Eileen? You got the book. Did you <laughs> buy a head to go with it so we could play along? So um, this project is um, in this book. Uh, I got my camera up higher. Hold on. 
because you're going to need, I'm going to need my camera pie once to start gluing so you can see the entire, yeah, the entire thing. Hold on. Okay. So I have my camera pie so you guys will be able to see better. Anyway, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go with, basically, we're going to glue on um, some papers, and then we're going to go over with paint markers, and we're going to do our face. And this is the part I'm a little nervous about is our hair. So, but I did also buy mine a scarf. And I think I'm going to get my blonde hair because I'm blonde now. So this is where I got the idea from. So it was Karen Campbell's book. This is not my idea. So, and now what she did, which I like this idea too, is she put sunglasses on it, which is a cute idea too. And which I forgot to look for when I was at the dollar store. Darn it. I don't go there very often. I should have looked for sunglasses. That would have been cute too. Because there is actually like a ridge. So you yeah, so you definitely could do that. So I might have to get her some sunglasses and maybe a wig. I don't know. If I don't like her thing, I might have to wait to Halloween to find her a wig. <laughs> okay. Now she used Mod Podge. I'm going to um just use this. I think Mod Podge is sticky, so We'll see how this goes. It should be fine. I'm hoping it sticks. I'm hoping that it sticks to the foam fine. So. You would give her a Mardi Gras face. <laughs> but you need to get a foam head, Eileen. And do one. And post it for us. <laughs> Oh, today was Joyce's birthday? Oh my gosh. I've been busy all day. I didn't even I didn't even see that. I feel really bad. I didn't say she's eating. I didn't say happy birthday to her. I didn't even know. I I've just I was uh, out all afternoon and got home on the phone with my daughter, ate dinner, and then came up here. I I checked Twitter when I got back and yeah. I've been kind of busy today. And yesterday I was uh, I went out dollar store and stuff. Okay. On oh, Wednesday too. Uh, I was busy too, doctor stuff. So let's see if I can get this started. It's okay. I'm sorry. Happy boy. Happy happy birthday. I guess you're belated. Uh, it'd be a belated birthday gift for you, Joycey, when it gets there next Thursday. Your stuff. I, I I have to tell you, Joyce. I had a ton of fun um, gathering all the um, images for you, collage images that you wanted, like all my magazine images and calendar and some stuff. And I went through that whole box and I was trying to find things that I thought you would like or I thought was silly or fun that you would appreciate. And I can tell you, I sat up here. It was really late when I was going through it. And I was and I was giggling like crazy because I was like imagining I was imagining all the things that you would be like when you would be when you're opening the package, like how you would be re reacting to it. And I was just sat there laughing. Because I can't wait uh, uh, to see. I, I guess I kind of want to see your reaction. But that may say you have to wait a week. And I want you to have to wait a week. Because it's going to come a day after you stream. You're going to. I just. I mean I can just see her laughing her head off. With some of the stuff I sent. Uh, some images I sent to her. And uh, it just brought me so much joy. Going through the images for you. And um, and wait and and see just think about how you're gonna I don't know how you'll eventually use them all but it was fun I enjoyed it Joyce oh I forgot Shauna was here right Shauna I said I'm sorry I mentioned uh, Joyce and um, Janet and Eileen I'm sorry um, I have not been sleeping well um, 
Shauna, I, I sent your um, inks out to you too, and you should be getting your stuff tomorrow too. Joyce is the only one that's taken seven days. Everybody else is getting theirs in two days. So Joyce just lives too far away. <laughs> All right. Yep. I can't wait till you get stuff, Joycey. A couple of them are just going to make you bust a gut. Joycey's going to bust a gut. You're going to, she's going to tell you, she, you she's going to need some depends. Just saying, she's going to be laughing so hard. She's going to need some depends on the images I sent. I had a lot of fun. Because you're such a character and unique, um, it, it, it just like I knew I could just some. The, and then when I was looking at how random some of my images were that I had and how random they are, I'm not even sure what was in my mind when I decided to keep them. But then I was kind of laughing that I like these random things. And then I was like, Joyce is going to love these random things way more than me and going to do something more fun with them. And I was laughing at myself. I even had all these and and the fact that you're so like free spirited minded and fun like you just like you're gonna have your own fun and i'm gonna have fun watching it so just saying all right i don't know how exactly i want to cut these i'm kind of just doing it so i've never done this before so I'm thinking, I guess I should start with the top that way because I can have, I can just hold it down here and it won't be sticky. So I should probably just start with the top of her head and work my way down and see how this goes. So let's see how this goes. She used, I believe, foam, uh, foam brushes um, for applying it and she used Mod Podge. I have, um, only Mod Podge I have is like a shiny. Hodge Podge. Now she used some sparkles um, on her eyes, like eyes or around her eyes, which I'm going to use some weakest seller, I think, for that. I thought that was a good idea. Let's see if I can smooth this out. Otherwise, she's going to have a lumpy head. I'm trying not. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. It just might be lumpy because it's just lumpy. I just actually. Ugh, I may just have to use my hands. I don't want to, but I think I'm going to use my hands. I can get it smoother. I hate glue on my hands. But um, I think I can get on there smoother. Otherwise, it's going. she's going to have a lumpy head. All right. We don't want her to have a lumpy head. So I have to figure out if I need to cut the pieces to, like, to get them down smooth. It, does it matter if she has wrinkles? I don't know. I don't know. It may not matter. Like she's gonna like can I get the little pieces out? I don't know. But we're gonna paint over it. So this is just the base, and then we're gonna paint, we're gonna like paint her some hair and stuff. So hey Debbie. I don't mind glue and stuff, but or paint, but I don't like glue on my fingers. Cut slits. That's what I was thinking. To get rid of the creases, I need, okay, I need slits. That's why I'm like, I'm just going to have a wrinkly head. Otherwise, okay. So I'm like, she's going to have wrinkles. She's gonna look old. She's gonna wrinkle head. <laughs> and when I get to her face, that could have really been bad. I mean, like she's aged. All right. I gotta put another coat on the top. I don't want to do that till I get it a little more, um, a little more flat. Right, watch me sure I'm on camera. And then put a, the layer on top. I wasn't sure how this was going to work on, on styrofoam, but this works like it. Because I think if you were going to paint directly on it, I 
<laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't like glue. I was re laughing at Wendy's comment. I don't like glue on my fingers. Um, that's why I kind of like for the magazine images. If I don't need a Mod Podge, it, that's why I was saying I like the roller, um, the glue runners, because I can adhere it down. And I don't need glue and I don't need to, it's just easier, but. Now, if you're going to paint over, then then you got to mod podge it, but or whatever. I thought it would be fun and easy and a low stress um, art project so to do from her book. So I worked for hours on that girl. I'm like, I need a, I need something easy tonight and fun. I thought this would just be fun. Um, everyone likes to see, um, everyone enjoys seeing my hauls, and I did that already. And so I thought this um, this might be fun for everybody to watch and see how this turns out. And if you think it's hideous, then don't do it. <laughs> it's just for fun. It's just for me. It's just for my art room. It may turn out fantastic and it may not. Art's a gamble, right? All right. That looks pretty good. So I think I just need to put some on top. Oh, on a Copic, um, here we're trying to put on a Copic storage holder. Oh, are you making your own? I cannot build stuff. I can never do that. Like, I just cannot, I can't build stuff. Also, I think I might do some smaller pieces and I might have less wrinkles if I do some smaller pieces. I'm going to put this in the back because I don't know what's really going to be. I mean, I'm not going to be looking at the back of your head anyway. So let's just put this in the back. Now, you don't have to use Tim's. I think the advantage of using just this plain, simple, um, this plain, simple uh, text, which is upside down, um, it's just because you we're going to, like, paint her face and hair over it, and I think this is just not going to compete with it if you had, um, like, a floral or you could do that. But I think that it could interfere or compete with when you start doing the facial features if you use one with a lot of color pattern. Or if that's your thing, that works too. I, I, I was thinking this is probably why she went with a neutral um, pattern is because you could go on top of it with the eyes and stuff. And, and if you get, you know, it'd be hard to do that over top of flowers or whatever. So... And I'm going to overlap on a couple of these things, which is no big deal. Because To me, and he got it in the mail the other day. Oh, I enabled all. Um, I'm using um, this is the Art Basics Soft Matte Gel, and this is um, I just I was thinking the gel might be a little easier. Um, 
for what the, for this project. It may be the mod, maybe the regular mat medium that would have been fine, but I I wasn't sure. So I guess on the bins, yeah, just snip the paper to help with the wrinkles. I'm not an expert on this, so if if that's not right, sorry. <laughs> See, like this is popping up still, even though I cut it. I can't get enough Mod Podge underneath. Or Mod Podge, sorry. It's soft matte gel. I wasn't sure how, like I said, I, I know that if you paint directly on styrofoam, you need styrofoam paint. So I love this idea because you can paint on top of the this paper where if you were you painting directly over foam, you would definitely need um, foam paint, especially styrofoam paint. So, okay. Hmm. Guess she has no ear. Okay. Maybe I want to cover her ears up. <laughs> Let's see. Now we're on the side. Let's go with, I think I have a butterflies over here. So let's put. I'll put the butterfly on this side too. from the front to look like if you if I could buy like if I end up doing her hair and then I tied a thing on it having a, it kind of would be neat to have the butterfly on the side because then you could color that in if you want to just have that like a barrette or something you know what I mean I think it might need I might need to overlap it up higher let's see this is serious art here yeah, I think I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to overlap some of what I've done. Okay, so I could cut. Yeah, I'm just going to overlap because I do want to get my... Yeah, I'm just going to go over top what I've already done. So I do want to get that butterfly in. Okay, you think so, Buttons? Okay, that was a pretty good guess. Thank you, because I was thinking the gel would be better as well for a 3D item. So I was thinking the same thing. And I'm just going to take this and keep this in my art room. For fun, it's for me, and it's going to be cool and um, unique. And I'm going to keep this uh, in my art room. I mean, why not surround ourselves with, you know, inspiration? Yeah, so fun paint pictures or paintings or your books and whatever other people's artwork, like, and just surround yourself with. Fun stuff, you know. So you want to come. Say so you want to go to your art room or area or whatever you have, and you want to go in there and, and play and create, you know, because it makes you happy. So to be in there. I'm super happy. I've got all my stuff organized. I organized all my paints that were underneath the cabinet and were a pain to get to. And I was not using them because I didn't want to go under the cabinet and dig through the basket. And uh, Kathy K. Burks was 
and some others were making suggestions. And then I like the rolly carts because I already have a bunch of them. And they held a whole bunch of the tube paint. And that was awesome um, storage solution. And then I used just uh, bought two new carts. And then I went through my paints. And some of my paints were dried up and no good. A couple of my Jane Davenports were no good. Um, a couple of my Target paints were no good. And then once you go through them and you, well, you eliminate the ones that are dried up, you free up space because you're not storing ones that aren't any good. So, you know, so that's another kind of storage idea is to go through and make sure everything you're storing is good, you know, and you're not just storing things that are not any good and frees up room for the stuff that is good and that you are using. So, yeah, I like that. Okay. Now, let's put some, some music notes over here. Oh, um, okay, Shauna. Um, I sent your package out. I don't know if you heard me earlier, if you were away from your computer, I sent your package out and you should get that tomorrow. I forgot to mention you. I don't know why, but I didn't. I said, um, I apologize for that. You, you should be getting yours tomorrow too. I mailed them all at the same time, so... Okay, you did. Okay, Tana. I might have missed it. I'm kind of, I'm watching chat and I'm not watching. Okay, good. Just so you know to look for it tomorrow in your mailbox or wherever they put packages at. Because I know my daughter gets them like, um, they sometimes keep them at the office or something. So just wanted to let you know. Um, All right, then I'll probably put the more simple um, part on her face again. So it's like where I got the busy stuff here and here on her face. I think I'll go with uh, like just the plain. So Did you see the, um, I know Debbie saw it. She liked it. Um, the ink comparison, the alcohol ink comparison. Um, I put it on uh, YouTube. It was like Tim Holtz um, alcohol inks compared to this other brand. And I good, and I was looking for, um, went looking for videos on it because I saw that they had it at Joggles. And I was like, I wonder you know, I don't really know anything about these inks. And so I went looking for it and I saw a comparison between these. I can't remember the brand, uh, these particular inks and Tim Holtz inks. And um, anyway, um, it sounds like the, the girl who was, she's like a card maker. She likes the other ones better. Yeah, you you did get the new inks, not not the Tim Holtz inks. The um, there's a different company. I think they've been out a few years, um, according to this girl. But like, I don't think we've ever heard of them. 
but um, Joggles has them in right now. So I just went to basically see you know, if someone else out there had them, if they liked them. I figured someone would, would ultimately I figured someone would, would compare them to Tim Holtz, um, to his, and that would be out there somewhere. And it was. So I may, may put that on my maybe get list. But then again, I don't use alcohol inks that much. And then I have a ton already. So then that's why I'm like, eh. Yeah, I have a ton and I don't use them all the time. So maybe if I if that's a goal, I should use up the Tim ones that you know, I have first. Otherwise, I like the others better. I'll never use Tim's again. And then what? Then I saw the Bria Reese. Every bought all her stuff at Hobby Lobby. Uh, she has alcohol markers. She has um inks she has uh water-based markers etc she um has alcohol inks too and i think she's got a new line alcohol inks and i watched a video of someone using her inks um on the bria reese uh youtube page so other people are getting into the into the you know, not just him, you know what I mean? He's got competition, just saying. Yeah, the colors are very bright. I liked that they blended together. I thought that that was neat, that they blended together better than his. They, and um, they don't, um, I don't know, they play better together, I guess would be the right word, than his. And I like that aspect. And now I started watching some of her other card videos. And she has some really cool techniques that I think um, could be used for mixed media. Um, not just for cards. Like she just makes cards, I think. But definitely she had some nice tutorials on things that could be applied to mixed media. And let's see, I did order that um, expensive embossing paste that Kathy had. And uh, so I went that that'd be here um, some point. But I really loved that it looked it looked like um, encaustic and it was not encaustics where you don't have to worry about the, you know, the fumes and et cetera, et cetera, and all the equipment you need to do in caustics. Um, I love that the, the, that, that looks like, and that actually when I was watching Seth after's tutorial on his, on uh, his embossing powders, he said that he actually made this to, uh, I mean, it was intended to look like in caustic. So was that was not accidental. So I thought that was interesting. So that was what his intent was. You got it today? Oh, cool. That means I ordered mine the same day. So I may get mine tomorrow. Sondra took his class. Oh, did she? Did she say that? And I missed it. Ugh, I'm going to have to tear this. This is not playing nice. Uh, this neck part is a pain in the patootie. So I'm going to have to make this in smaller pieces. The neck part is not easy. The rest of it was pretty easy. This neck part's a little, a little more challenging. Cut off this extra. Oh, the other, the other um, embossing things that she's going to show us next week. Um, that he has. I did look at those. I didn't buy those. Uh, 
Oh, you do? And and using the um the natural um shoot. What did we buy, Eileen? It was natural beeswax embossing powder. I'll have to look and look at your uh, YouTube thing. I don't remember that. I could have missed it because if you were doing that when I was doing Zumba, I used to I used to do Zumba on Wednesdays. I probably missed it. Yep. Okay, she did do that. Zondra did. Sheesh. Apparently, I missed that one. Yeah, that's the first time I saw it was with Kathy. Okay, I will check out your uh, YouTube channel, Zondra, and Scraps to Beauty, and um, anyone watching the recording, and check that out. I must have missed it. Probably was when I could do Zumba. Yep, that was on my favorite. It was Wednesday night when Nick was teaching. Till my stupid heel doesn't cooperate no more, so... Okay. Let me get this on here. Now. Hmm. I got a bubble here. I can't. That did not lay smoothly here. Hold on. Okay, talking about the different between difference between Kathy's smaller jar and the bigger jar. There's a little bit of difference in color. They're talking about in chat. Kathy wasn't sure why that was. And we didn't have it, so we were no help. <laughs> We were no help. Look at my fingers. Oh my God. So much glue. But that, there's just no way to. If she, you said you use a brush. I just don't see how you can because you really have to kind of just sculpt this paper, like cut it and sculpt it around its head. Like you can use it to dip into the jar and say use your fingers, but yeah, you got to use your fingers to get this on here. Right. It's, it's a head. I mean, <laughs> it's not like you're putting it on a, a, a journal page. It's flat. So Now, who's the black ice one by if it's not Seth after then Z? Okay, you have to look and tweet it. Okay, that's cool. Oh, well, let us know if you're able to. Everyone misses your Sunday streaming. I'm going to have big peelies, just saying. <laughs> the glue. 
I'm liking this project. I don't like having gluey fingers, but I am liking the project. Okay, that sounds great. Let us know if she can. All right. Now, all I do now is we're up to the face. So let's. Work on that. So it's looking pretty good, I think. So I think it looks cool. I like the butterflies. I think that's fun. I wish I would have put this one that way instead of this way, but but you got one big one over here. So all right, so Let's see, let's put another butterfly in the front. Just put, I'll put the butterfly like on her forehead again. So I don't know how her hair is going to turn out. Oh, maybe I'll just do this. I could cover that one up since it's sideways. Oh, maybe I should make her equal. I need one more. All right, where's the roll? Uh, I actually put one on each side and I'll feel like she's symmetrical. So a giant butterfly on each side. I should do that. But otherwise, I like symmetry. Okay. And I love butterflies. So I love symmetry. So we're gonna let's glue this on the other side. Your winnings just came. What did you win? Did you enter a contest and won some supplies, or did you played a lotto and win? Tell all. Tell all, Joyce. Oh, it is? I didn't know this was painted on glassine paper. This is what she uh, she uses in the book. I didn't know that, Eileen. I know I like his, I do like his paper. I have the birds, the, the black, I think like a black and white birds and a colored bird one he came out with last year. I bought those. I, I and I bought, I have all Dina Wakely's tissue paper. I love tissue paper. I, I do say I love tissue paper. It's just so fun. The collage, it's just, it's easier than the napkins. And of course, you, you know, I mean, more varieties with napkins, obviously. But yeah, I love tissue paper. I also have the blank tissue paper. And I stamp was stamping on that the other day so i would have it there's a roll that he makes of plain papers and put your own i was stamping on so i'd have some dina wakely images pre-stamped to pull out and use for some projects since um i bought our paper and i was in my dina wakely mode so uh, gluey glass Is that new this year? Am I confused? This is, you're talking about new stuff, not old stuff, right? 
He talking about he has new stuff that's gla um, glassing paper. Because this is it's just says tissue paper. These that came out like a couple years ago. You're talking about he has a new one that's printed on the glassine. And I didn't even know that. I don't think I've seen it anywhere. Or I like say anywhere. I mean joggles. I don't really buy from anywhere else but joggles. But and Amazon. Oh, yeah. I don't buy from scrapbook. That comrade, and I've bought some stuff from Zonder too. Zonder has a online store too called the Painted. I'll see what is it? The Painted something. I'm so sorry. I can't remember the name offhand. I don't have. Uh, I'm gluey, so I can't go look for a card. Z also has a, she's one of our fellow streamers and friends, and she has a, 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 a store with art supplies that, too. Ugh, stick. I'll make it stick. All right. Okay, you want a coloring book and... Oh, you're welcome, see. You treasured a Tim paper. Oh, Rose sent you Tim paper. Oh, I didn't know that. That was sweet of her. Make sure you're using it. Just don't treasure. That's something you should you could treasure and use, you know. Actually, I may need to use a darker piece here only because that's uh, let's see. Mm. Let's see, because then when I do this, is that going to look right? Just then there's going to be like a white gap between these two. Hold on. Eek! She's coming undone. Hold on. What if I should stop and dry this a minute? Make sure everything's glued down. And stop, make sure it's dry and all glued, and then, then get to her face here a minute. She needs a blue butt bee on her nose. Oh, <laughs> like in that one pit in her book where she's got the bug on her nose. I have, um, I have a butter, I have, I do not have bug, but I have a butterfly. I definitely have some butterflies in my stash that I could use. Look how thick that is on my hands, you all. It's that thick. It is that thick. It is yucky. Ah, oh, say so yucky. It's not their glue. I just don't like any glue. Like I don't like any glue on my fingers. It's not anything against Art Basics or I don't care what it is. I just don't like glue on my fingers. Oh, bless you. Goodness sake, that's a big sneeze, Bandit. My dogs always have allergies. And they sneeze a lot. At least they can sneeze. They aren't stuffy and dizzy like me. I envy that. I'd rather be sneezing than stuffy. There you go. Z's shop is paintandpaperstudio.com. Thank you, Lena. That is Z's store if you want to check it out. My favorite thing I got was my Jane Davenport binder. I love that Jane Davenport binder. It's so pretty. And I have my Dina Wakely paper in it. And I have my Jane Davenport stamps and... Um, some stencil, Jane Davenport stamps and stencils in it. And I have my Dina Wakely um, tissue paper in it. And it's pretty and it holds a lot, which I like.
Oh, you leave in Joycey? All right. Happy birthday. Have a good night. Let me know when your stuff arrives. Oh, that's right. Linda Whitehead sent that to you. I could not remember that. I, I could not remember. Yeah, have a good dinner. Get some dessert. <laughs> Like, you know what she looks like at the moment? I don't know if you guys watch Star Trek or not, any, but she kind of looks like the Borg, the lady, the Borg lady, that evil Borg lady. That's what she kind of looks like right now, with like, you know, where she's like metal and, and human, you know, like part, you know, what I mean, that's what reminds she kind of looks like the Borg. Oh, I hated the Borg, they're scary. Oh, I hated them. Every time that part would come on, I'd be like, oh, I hated them. So scary. Freaky. Freaky. I don't like scary movies. That's as scary as it gets. I saw that at the movie theater with the Borg. Oh, my God. It's awful. It's freaking out. I don't like it. This is what reminds me of the Borg Queen. Doesn't take much to freak me out. I mean, yeah, I don't like scary anything. <laughs> So, that's just me. You, right? Didn't she look like a bored person? So, if we left, like, you know, we, like, left her face half undone. And we did, like, you know, like, skin tone on one half. And then the half is mechanical. Yeah, she'd be like the Borg lady. The evil Borg queen. We tried to take, uh, what's his face? The, what was that guy's name? The robot guy. Ah, this is the um, Star Trek The Next Generation. That's what I'm talking about. With Picard. He was so, he's so handsome. You don't either? Yeah, I don't like them, Eileen. I, I just don't. I don't like anything like that. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with it. And then the music is the worst part, especially in the theater. It's worse because it's dark. And then the music's like amplified and loud. And, and then the music, just the music alone. If I hear him watching something awful, the music, if I hear the music, the music makes me nervous. Because I hear the music playing and I know it's something bad happening. Yeah, I don't even like that because the music makes me nervous. And that's the whole point. I mean, the music is is supposed to, you know, you know, it, that's the whole point of it. But, I mean, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I prefer comedies. I like comedy. And I like mystery. I love mysteries. But more like um, feel good, happy mysteries, like Hallmark mysteries. <laughs> I like mysteries like that, Matlock or uh, um, already, uh, the old, uh, the old ones in the '80s. And then um, Hallmark has a mystery channel, and I do love that.
that's more my speed. I like the mystery aspect of figuring stuff out, but I don't like any, I don't want to see any of the gory things that happen. I just like trying to figure out the mystery of it. I don't like, I don't want to see nothing. That make If that makes any sense at all. Let's see. Oh, I put that on upside down. Well, I'm going to put this one on upside down to match. Exactly, Debbie. I feel the same way. I don't. Yeah, exactly. I need. Uh, I need happy stuff. Exactly. Yeah, I make him watch those um, in his office or whatever. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. She's looking pretty good. A little funky now with her whole hey face covered, but she's going to be pretty once we uh, add uh, color in her eyes and lips and make her look like a human here. <laughs> a human <laughs> with butterflies on her head. Yep. Human. She's no longer a Borg. She's going to be, or she is a Borg. She's going to be a very pretty Borg, and she's going to be a nice Borg. Data. I was trying to think of the, the character's name. It was Data who she was trying to uh, bring to the dark side. It was Data. I, I had like a, that moment of uh, I can't remember. Yeah, it was Data. That's what I was trying to remember earlier. And he fooled her because he was not. Thank goodness. I like when some of the characters from Star Trek and a few of the other TV shows and movies have showed up um, on Big Bang Theory. Um, I like that. I like think the kid that was on there who's now an adult, obviously. And I like the when they bring in the people from Big on the Big Bang to see him now. And when you see Shorty with like without his glasses he looks really weird because you got used to seeing him with his glasses in the movie and uh it's like where's your glasses so tore that right off and i did not mean to stuck to my fingers okay so i'm done getting everything mod podge i think I just want to put one more coat on and then I'm going to go and wash my hands and take a five minute break and de-glue my fingers. And then when I do, you guys can go get a drink or whatever and maybe back here and we'll blow, we'll dry the, dry it and then we'll start uh, painting her some facial features and some hair, maybe put a butterfly on her nose. I don't know. I will, I will grab a, I will go in there and grab that out of my drawers in there, my scrapbook doodad stuff. Oops, sorry. Uh, exactly, Lena. Finn's mechanics on her. Oh my God, Eileen! You, you know, if I, she would, if you wanted her to look like the Borg, and had like you're right, the Finn stuff, like all the gears and that, you could totally do that. That's what you need to do, Eileen. Do you have any of that? You could buy the foam hat. I think it was like five bucks, and you could do like a uh, with the gears and uh and uh. You probably got a lot of paste and. I don't have, like the paste and all that. And you could do one like a cool, uh, uh, even a Borg or um, what's the right word with the gears and stuff. The I can't think of the whatever it's called. The Dar used to do, um, you know, uh, shoot, where's Joyce to fill in my when I go blank. 
Um, yeah, you should do that, Eileen. I don't have any of that stuff. You should do that if you own it. That'd be so cool. You could do it, and you could take share the photos. I think I think that uh, Finnabar would, would like that. You could tag her on Instagram. I think she would probably like seeing that. If someone did that. Yeah, do you do you have any of that stuff? Steampunk. Thank you, Lena. Ugh, I'm always like halfway there and then lose my thought. Yeah, steampunk. Gears and stuff. You could do a steampunk version of this. You know, like or you could do the board type with the gears and a goop. And I don't have I don't really have all the fin stuff. I have just a couple paste. Um, and that's it. I mean, like the ones I bought, the Prima, kind of the Prima paste I bought um, to do uh, a class by Donna Downey, but that's about it. And they're colorful. Ah. But um, I used to have a lot of that stuff, but I definitely don't have that stuff anymore. Because that was super popular, the steampunk. Like, every, all of I know Dar did a lot. Dee Dee liked the steampunk. She did some of that stuff. I mean, that was really in for a while. And she's making fun of me. She does have that stuff. I just realized she's making fun of me. She must have all that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am so sorry. Oh, my God. I've been calling Limo Lena again because Lena and Limo and it's Norma. Norma and, and oh, my gosh. I am doing that again. I am so sorry. Damn it. There. I even put a sign up. Limo is Norma. And I'm still freaking calling you Lena. I am so sorry. The sign, I think I need to write the words bigger. I just cannot. You're the only person I do that to. Oh, sheesh. You, I give up. I just don't know why my mind can't remember it. And I don't do that. I don't think I do that to anybody's. Like I call cat cat because it's easier buttons button. I know it's Monique, but like it's easier and to type it in and I, you know, just simpler. But I like your name, I really struggle with. I think you should just change it to Lena. <laughs> you could you need to be you need to be Branson Lena. <laughs> Maybe then I'll call you Norma. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Who was I talking to? I was talking uh CB, I keep calling, I keep calling uh Norma Lena. I do that all the time. And I, and I made a sign. I still continue doing it. Lena one, Lena two. Oh, I like it. Like thing one, thing two of well, Lena one and thing and Lena two. I like it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to leave this here a moment. I'm going to go and get, look how much glue I'm getting off my fingers. I'm going to go get this glue off, and I'll be right back. So, go take a potty break, get a drink. Give me a couple of minutes here. I got to get this glue off or I lose my mind. Oh, it's glue, it's glue.
I get this little off? Oh my god. Ugh. It's so, I got it on so thick. I think I'm only going to be doing one doll head. Like this blue and stuff is not my thing. No getting the glue off. Uh, hang tight. It's that bad. I'm still getting glue off. Oh my god. Still getting glue off. Everyone's going to leave my channel while it's a 10 minute interval when I get this off. Uh, I said it's time to entertain everybody.
God. That's terrible. Oh, but I got the glue off. I'm serious. Okay, I get to everybody. I'm back. It's fast forwarding it right now if you're watching the recording. Oh my God, I had to get that glue off. I had big chunks of glue sitting on the sink that I peeled off my fingers, and then the rest I had to use a nail brush to scrub off. I have really dry skin, especially in the, and then in the winter. Ugh. So I think it just really sticks to me. <laughs> Even more so because I have such dry skin. Oh, phew. Well, you know what? I got to look at that. was like getting a, a loofah or a, um, you know, like uh, you, you did the, the peely thing with your hand. You dip it, the mask, and you peel it off. That's what I just did. I know I have a whole new level of new, new fresh skin after all that. I just gave myself a... Mm. Uh, appeal. <laughs> we can send a clue off my mat now. <laughs> that was a gross way to do it, let me tell you. Oh, she was a beautician and had makeup on them. Yeah, I was a hairdresser once upon a time. And I had a couple mannequins because we, we cut their hair practice. You know, we weren't allowed to cut, you know, our each other's hair yet or other people. We had to use the mannequins. I had a couple of those. Yeah, they start off with really long hair, and then time you graduate, they're nearly bald. So, <laughs> okay, goodness gracious, clean these things and clean my scissors and stuff later. <sighs> Thank God the glue's off of me. I like this project other than the glue. Let me get this in heat up quicker. Yeah, I think I had about nine people leave when I left to just get glue off. I had nine people leave my room. I'm sorry. This is, if you were do, you would be running out and getting the glue off too if you were doing this. I don't mind paint and ink. Your brother had one of the hair mannequins just to screw around with. <laughs> Buffering, okay. I'm just drying anyway. Not, I miss you're not missing anything. I'm just drying his head. Still sticky, so I need to dry it some more until the sticky dissipates, and I know it's dry if it's sticky it's it's still it's still wet okay everybody's back so in the book uh she uses um regular paint for the head. I guess it really depends like the hair. It depends on what color you want her to use. The other things that's in the book, which I'll open in a minute, is she uses the Posco pens and she uses um, the Magenta Fit uh, Pit Pen for the, the Rouge. And then she puts some sparkly stuff on the eyes. And then whatever color we're going to, and, and no, and then paint for her hair. And that's really, I mean, it's it's a pretty, you probably have everything you need if you're going to do it normal, unless you're going to make it into the board or, um, or steampunk, like we were talking about, then you may, may or may not have that stuff. But if you're following her book, you can use any kind of paint pens. If you don't have pastas or other ones, or you can just use paint. You don't have to use a paint pen. You can use your regular paint and a brush and do it by hand. You don't have to have a paint pen to decorate it.
So Eileen, are you gonna do one of these and use all of your fan gears and stuff and make it all cool? Are you tempted to do that now? Bead ribbing, beading on ribbing would be a great Gatsby style. For her, on her, on a head, like for a headband. Not sure. Well, you can think about it, right? Think about it. You may want to do that. It, have you got your alcohol inks yet? Your new ones from Doggles, the um. Uh, the pearl alcohol inks and tried them out, Eileen. Other than I think you tried them out when you went to your local scrapbook store. Did you try them out since you got them home? Flapper like. Okay, gas bead flapper. Thank you. That's true. You could do that. And they have short hair, too. Whew, still put your finger in front of that. It's hot. It's a heat gun. That's weird how that's hot. I was making sure that paper was sticking. It's almost dry. And this is boring. I apologize. It's boring to watch. Just fast forward. There's no way to avoid this unless I would have done this ahead of time before I came on. There's no way for me to avoid the hand washing and the, and the dryer. I am sorry about that. Just fast forward. This is a live stream with we're chatting. But you can always fast forward, as Dee Dee says. Fast forward. Okay. So she's mostly dry. Let me get my book. Yeah. And if you put a ball behind there so I'd step on it and play with them, a little sneaker. So, again, this is out of the Karen Campbell Mixed Media Magic Book. And so when she did her eyes, she did it with a little psh psh at the end. She has a turquoise. I do not have a turquoise Costco pen. I only have like a blue. It looks more turquoise. So then we're going to do the rouge after that. If you're hesitant, start the hairline. Draw the outlines of the hair using chalk. The lines are easily wiped away. That's not a bad idea. So her the hair, which is the part I'm a little nervous about, is she did purple and then she has some little swirls going through it and she did one in turquoise and this one she even did turquoise lips i guess it'd be more mermaid and it looks like she has some coral on her cheek so um she was definitely attempting more of a mermaid look on this one Again, I think it's it's kind of, I like how she put the white in with this um, for highlights. So if I do the yellow, I probably need to do the yellow with some sort, with like a white highlight or something like she did. All right, so let's do the eyes. Let me see if I can get my book to stay down and use my water thing. It's not. Yeah, it's pretty new, so it's like it's not going to stay down. Hey, Sharon. Yeah. Sorry to go. I was talking. Definitely made me thirsty. Okay. Make sure my paint pen's working. Let me get a piece of paper real quick. Just make sure it's 
Okay. Because my white ones, they, I, I don't know if I like ruined my white ones um, or they just pooped out because you can ruin your pens if you put it down at the wet paint. Try to make sure I get our eyeballs right. I can feel where it's at. Downside to decoupaging it is because you're not exactly seeing it. So could do I could do a lazy thing and do a closed-eyed girl who's sleeping. <laughs> okay, let's give her a brow here. So this would be her eyebrows. Okay. Thankfully, I shouldn't have, I don't do any nose shading, which is heavenly because that's the hardest part about doing faces is the nose shading. So when she did the lips, let me look at the finished one to be easier. Um, she drew a line with a little smile. Oh, she did do a nose. Hold on. That was not really showing up in the other photo. Hold on. Ugh. Okay, I got color. Should have done this a little tighter. Okay, so I have to kind of do the nostrils and up the sides. Okay. Oh, Lordy. I got to find her nostrils. Okay. And then we have to go kind of, if you would, uh, and then I guess we do like a, I don't know. Something like that. We'll see. If I don't like it, we'll wipe it off. At least with the Mod Podge, I feel like you saying that if you don't like it, you can wipe it off before it dries. Like you could do a... It's hoping. That kind of looks weird. I don't like that. Hold on. I don't like that. I definitely think that looks weird. Looks like she's like wearing braces on her nose. <laughs> I don't like that. I gotta rethink the nose thing. I don't like that. If I can get it off. Well, at least if I can't, it's lighter than what it was. I think I don't mind doing the nostril holes, but I, I think other than that, I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't think I want to do the lines going. It kind of looks like she has a mustache. <laughs> what the hell am I up to? I am doing a fabulous foam head we are working i'm working out of the book that we bought the other day i still don't like that i feel like it looks like she's got mustache i don't know i don't like the nose thing i'm gonna leave it if anyone has any suggestions um open up to that I'm making a fabulous foam head from the Karen Campbell Mixed Media Magic Book. Let's move on to her lips. Because I am not liking the nose. I guess I don't know. She did her lips better. I definitely don't like the lips. Hold on. Try again. Again, it's Modge Podge, so you got a couple chances. Let me let that dry a second. Hold on. I do have pan pastels. That's a good idea, Eileen. I <laughs> got girl nose rings. That's not bad. 
Well, I like the pan pastel idea. I mean, if I, I guess if I don't like it, I can rub it off. So, like, you can see her nose is done here. And I, I don't know. I'm okay with the lips. I'm not okay with the nose. I see a different view of the nose. Well, okay. So the lines are more, she maybe did the lines more out further where I did it right up the side of her nose. So maybe that was my mistake. So maybe um, it should been, it should have been more along the, like more along here. Like if we were drawing ourselves, we would be like, maybe it should have been more on this side and I had it too far in. That's what looked weird. Let me try the pan pastel thing. Can't hurt. Can't make it worse. Okay, so I'm going to move my mat and sit down for this part of the stream. Because my feet hurt, so I'm going to sit down. Okay. Let's try the pan pastels and see if we can do that. That will wipe it off and try something else. The girl has a story in her head. She does, right? Everyone should just tune in and watch just to see if I manage to pull this off. <laughs> okay, let's do let's try it. I'm I'm going home. I like that suggestion, Eileen. Let's see if we can uh, well you can use this. I got some other colors. This would be for the face tone. Uh Let's see, we could use like this one so we could do like a little bit of like scrapey scrapey on it or we could use the little thingy my bobber. Let's see, where's the round one? Oh, this will work. I could just put it on with this. Psh, psh. Let's try that. To see what if it goes. That is a good idea. I like having Eileen around. She's full of all kinds of good ideas here. See if we can give her some skin tone. You can kind of see. Let me move my camera down. Because now it doesn't need to be up so high. Now I'm done gluing. It's actually, it's not showing up the camera, but it's actually turning out pretty good, actually. It's not, I don't know if the camera's doing justice with it, but kind of like this. Putting makeup on her. I like it. <laughs> yeah, like you can see this is starting to show up, like the skin tone. So we're not holding it at the right angle. Yeah, I like it. Let's keep going with it. See where we can go. And then I could do some shading for her nose. And Now she looks alive. All right. I like it. That's a good idea. I wouldn't have thought to do this. I think we can con Dee Dee into uh, making a mannequin head and doing some pan pastels on it too. I should put on my YouTube video, don't try this at home unless you're a professional. <laughs> 
outfits. Then I could use the pan pastels or paint for her head. Use a darker shade for the shading around her nose. Okay. That's too dark. Let's try this one next. And then if that doesn't work, then we'll move up to that color. Well, it's mine because I could always put add more. That way I don't go too dark. Or I can mix it. Mm. I feel like that. I wonder if that's going to be too dark. That's uh, maybe I just a little bit. That scares me. Okay. Let's just try. Let's try. I can do this. I can do this. Want to learn faces? This is a new way to do a face. Uh, Y'all, okay, you can see, okay. I forget you see the opposite of what I'm doing. Freak every time I look at the camera, I think just I just don't look. You're just gonna like freak yourself out here. Let me use like a where's the other one at? I don't have to keep switching. You leave the dark one on that one. And then go with like maybe this and this and maybe I don't know. Uh, maybe it's a white. So you gotta have like some light and white and some dark and uh, this is fun. I didn't expect to be doing this today. I should not mind using a little bit of. I like this idea for her blush. Look, I'm avoiding the nose. Okay. She needs some blusher. Then go back to the dark and then I'll have to keep switching sponges. Just oh, we can give her a dark nose. <laughs> Looks like we can give her a dark nose. Make it look like she's been, you know, playing out in the dirt. We just put it all over the place. Okay. She's saying I got too much dark under the eyes. She was playing with some uh, art supplies and then she got dirty. All right. That's a good idea. Then I feel like you can kind of see. I wouldn't say it's, it's I'm super talented at this, but I love the idea. This is cool. I'm having fun. I wouldn't have thought to do this, Eileen. Now, like you normally, I need to give her some lips here. Girl has no lips. So, let's just go with the. This would be darker. So, let's give her some. Let's just kind of. Girl needs some lips. Let's see how this is going to look. That's what she did. She used like, well, she used this for blusher, but I don't see why I can't use this for lipstick too. And then maybe after that, I could do like, hold on. The things I do for you people, I tell ya. Things I did entertain you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is funny. It looks really weird. Like I guess <laughs> her lips are like. <laughs> Let's give her some more color here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my 
my gosh. They had to stop that. I'll start tearing up on here. And we'll feel see nothing from laughing. All right, put this aside a second. <laughs> Draw with it. <laughs> she does look like she's, it does true. She does look like she shaved her head and got some tattoos. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is scary. Okay, so we're going to go around. Like she did, and we're gonna do like a, she did like a, whoop at the end, give her like this dramatic, this dramatic eye liner stuff. <laughs> Again, I don't wear, I don't particularly wear, I wear some makeup, but I don't wear that much makeup, so I'm not a makeup expert. All right. That's what she did. She did like a dark spot in the middle and she did like a like a smile. I don't know. <laughs> it looks real weird. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I gotta take off that. That looks really weird. Uh, <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna, I like the pink lips. I don't like all that. It, it, that looks odd to me. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I could cut eyes out of a magazine. And, it, and then uh, you can also do lips and stuff. I can just uh, do the whole nine yards. That's not a bad idea. It really is it. <laughs> oh done. Let's draw her some eyeballs. I don't like it. I may do Kathy's idea. I don't like it. I may I could I could uh, cover I could wipe it off or cover it up with uh Ones out of a magazine. I like that idea. I do the right direction. I am not a mannequin expert. <laughs> I can't help it. This just is just looks it looks goofy, but I'm having fun. Even if it does look silly, I am having fun. Get that makeup off the face, girl. Um, uh, jeans, wore she? I yeah, I do. <laughs> no one talked me into this, Sharon. It is purely this is not Eileen's fault. This is not Eileen's fault. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
my own doing. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, let's try that. I like that idea. Let's try some eyes off the tape. <laughs> let's dot the eyes so she can look <laughs> look again. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh my goodness this is fun I have to admit I'm not thinking about anything but this man again at the moment and and how funny this is <laughs> oh, it's nice it's nice now let's see That looks good. I like it. Oop, wait a minute. I just gotta wipe this off back here. Hold on. I have a good suggestion. That does look good. I have a good suggestion. I'm gonna put my new washi tape to work. Ha ha. Hold on. Oh, Lordy. Wait a minute. I didn't peel it right. Okay, hold on. Do I get part of rye since I messed that up? No, I did okay because I got nervous because. All right. Now, what do I do about doing the other side? I got to give her a different eye because the one thing's in the corner. So, like, I'm going to have to do. What do I do about. This eye. I'm gonna have to give her two different eyes. Let's see. What do I do? Because you can't have the little like pink thing in the middle. Let's see. That one's this one goes this direction, but it's a lot smaller. Uh let's think. Let's just cut out the little eye. Hold on. If I don't like it, we'll peel it off. <laughs> it's tape. <sighs> Put it on upside down? Really? For real? She's not. Okay, wait a minute. Hi, Dot. Let's do it upside down. That, will that work? Let's see. Because. <laughs> that may not work. <laughs> that will not not worry about the corners <laughs> matching eyes or I do <laughs> right now this eye is going the right direction now I could do like the whole uh whatever the what's her name said so this is going <laughs> but she has two different eyes so I could do the other one so it doesn't match oh no that's the wrong way too hold on I'm stupid wait a minute there not I need an eye that goes the same direction. Hold up. This one. Damn it. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I can't see from 
from the tears. Oh, so these are these are uh, poor Kathy. She's actually got something wrong. I mean, to be made fun. I just like I, I just know how she feels at the moment. Oh, I'm laughing so I can't see. I'm just gonna do it backwards and say screw it. <laughs> Or I put an eye patch on her to her. She only needs one eye. And if I had a like an eye patch <laughs> for the other eye, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. I'm just gonna have to do it this way, not worry about the corners. <laughs> it's better than the other way. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, tape on my arm. Oh, this is what open my sinuses up. Oh my gosh. Can't see. Okay, I think I'll do that. <laughs> I could. She's got a lot to do. I could try to match the other eye. <laughs> Brian of Frankenstein. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. <laughs> yeah, she's like, really? I look ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, I need some Jane Davenport lips here. There we go. So, we could do itty-bitty lips. Let's see. Uh, add some lashes. Yeah, so that the lashes are on the other side, make it look a little less weird. That would be good, Debbie. Hold on. Try to get my lips unpeeled here. She's got lips too. Uh, let's see. They're little lips, but they're lips. Look, we could do her some little teeny lips. And her pink. You could give her itty bitty lips. <laughs> I could wipe those out. Give her itty bitty lips. <laughs> oh, I need big lips. And she has, they're all itty bitty. But the eyes are good though. You got that part. I just got it. I, I like that. If I add some lashes on it, maybe we, maybe no one will notice. <laughs> Maybe no one will notice. <laughs> no one will notice. That's it. If I had some eyelashes, no one will notice. It'll be perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. <sighs> it is not perfectly fine. Hold on. I need this. Let me get a little bright. Let me get on my, uh, I'm dying here. My lips, uh, or my eyes, I mean, I'm burning. I'm not getting sleep last night. Let me get a little smaller pit pen. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you gotta be. <laughs> that doesn't look right. You think? Oh. Problem is that's on there and that's kind of dried. But let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all! It's funny. Well, if you had a bad day today. I hope um, I hope that um, I made you laugh. I hope I made your day better. <laughs> if anything from my stream, you will maybe be enable. Uh, I may enable you to buy some stuff, and uh, hopefully you have fun. And I make and you I make you smile and laugh. So that's my goal, and I think I achieved that today.
Boom, 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 boom. Just saying. These are not very good eyelashes. Dee Dee's like where you do you flick them and then you do different directions and then you do long and short and she's gone over like eyelashes a million times in her streams. Can I actually do duplicate it? Nope. She's like you flick it this way and that way and and they're not supposed to be even and she goes has gone over this a million times. Can I do it? Nope. And I remember everything she says to do. Just duplicating it as two different things. And you and then why she say that you're like, you're looking at what she's doing. You're like, that makes sense. Yep, yep, that makes sense. And then you go and you try to do it yourself. I'm like, no. All right, this girl needs some. She needs some rouge. Need to make her some rouge. So she's got some blusher to go with her hot pink lips just saying this girl needs some rouge that's the one thing I actually do like wearing is I like wearing blusher because especially in the winter because if I put on like powder or blusher because I have no color in the winter <laughs> pale as pale as pale and I like wearing blusher because you know I don't look so pale boom chicka chicka puma she's so pretty she's so hot yes she is okay <laughs> all right where's my let me cover these up Oh my god. I'm writing it down. I might do that. Hold on. I am taking that idea and running to the dollar store with that one. I would love the idea of putting some fake eyelashes on her. Where's the freaking pen? Hold on. I'm gonna get some fake eyelashes. Dollar Tree. Oh my God, I'm so getting those for her. She's gonna have some 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 3D eyelashes. Oh my gosh, I'm doing that. I wrote it down because that way I don't have to remember. All right, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> right, Carol? Does it make her cheeks a little less than like gaudy here? And a highlight to her lid. <laughs> I think her lips are crooked. Uh, let's see. Give her some nostrils. She needs some nostrils. All right. Now she's got some nostrils she can breathe. And she has no ears. She can't hear, but she can breathe. Okay. Now she can breathe. <laughs> she can breathe. And she says, oh, thank God. Okay. 
If I could just kind of make them bright and gray, I think gray would have been good. But if we can just dab the white on top of the black, and it would be not as dark. Their nostrils aren't like, Pew! look at my nose. There. And it, this is toned down her nose. And we, she has nostrils, but they're not like, stare at my nostrils. <laughs> look at my nostrils. <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is we're going to, uh, your nostrils look small. There. She needs some hair here. Oh, sunglasses on top of the head. I like it. You wrote that down too seriously. Fake eyelashes. It's brilliant. I'm going to put them across here. And she's going to get the fake eyelashes. I'm just saying. I live, you know, fairly close to a dollar store. Not as close as what I would like. But, yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, get some fake lashes. I think it's brilliant. It is a brilliant idea. So, Norma thinks so too. And I mean Norma, not Lena. <laughs> Hold on, I move my worksheet tape. Okay. None of my sinuses are going. I thought I was laughing. That's a good thing. Sketch a turban and jewel. <laughs> it looks like she's growing. <laughs> looks like she's growing a mustache. She think her nostrils. <laughs> oh wait, she doesn't. Well, what am I supposed to do? Everyone, when you draw them, you give them nostrils. Damn it! I don't think what we're supposed to do. I don't know what to do. She has nostrils. I got, I got pick her nose. Hold on. I got to pick her nose. <laughs> Eileen says she looks like she's <laughs> a mustache. <laughs> Damn it. All right. They're most, it's mostly wiped off. Okay. <laughs> Okay, shimmery eyeshadow would be nice. Someone else said the nose ring. Was that Norma? I don't know if I can do that. Let's try it. If it's stupid, I'll wipe it off. Norma mentioned, I think, a nose ring. Was it Norma? And who I call Lena? Lena 1, Lena 2? How would I do that? I don't know how I could do it to make it look dimensional. I need, like, said black. She needs, like, a, maybe I need, like, a, a gold one. A, like, a gold leaf pen or something. Let's see. Our silver. Uh, okay, I think I have gold. Uh, use wire to make the ring. Ah. Good night, Dot. You gotta miss out on it. Well, I'll post the picture when she gets some pretty lashes. Or when I got a Dollar Tree. Let me see wire. Let's see if I can actually pull this off.
All right. Let me move my hand pastel stuff. And then... All right. Just hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Ooh, I forgot I have a paint blob. Hold on. I don't know about this turban thing, Debbie. I don't know if I'm I'm good enough to do that. Hold on. I'm gonna move the paint. I just do not want her face like she's going to roll in the paint and have a big blob on her head. Hold on. When I do that, I want to have it in a certain spot. Okay. You can see what I'm doing. Get all these out of the way. <laughs> Laser makeup to bed. <laughs> Okay. Does that bite your eyes? Now, if I'm going to make her a ring, how do I attach it, Eileen? Fabric glue. Okay, jabbing through there. Let's see. I think I might be able to jab it through there. See if I can jab it through her nose. Hold on. Hold on. I'm doing a piercing. Hold tight. Hold on. We're doing a piercing. <laughs> Hold on. Boom. <laughs> Did it. Now she's got a nose ring. <laughs> I figured it out. I'm like, wait a minute, I just spoke it. Now she has a nose ring. <laughs> and watches her turquoise eyes. She's got a nose ring. She's freaking cool. <laughs> Stick it in the nose. I saw that later. I'm just like, I want to get this out there. Do, 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 do. Well, for that rate, we can make her, we can just make her a damn necklace too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit ton of beads. We can make her a choker. We can make her a necklace. As far as that's concerned, we can also, I guess we can make her some earrings, too. We can make her a choker or a necklace. A will need to that way we can distract from her face <laughs> with all the accessories. Or we could try, uh, if we could, can't really do earrings, though, because she don't really have ears. So I guess we could try, a, we could even try it, we can get a couple beads. She's fashionable and cool, right? She's got her nose ring. Hello. Okay. We could do something like, hold on. This will go with her nose ring. 
Let's see. I wonder if this wire fit through. Oh, it will fit. I'm not sure it'll fit through. You could do like P all of P signs like this, though. It would be sideways. Uh, let's see. I have little P signs, too. That won't work with that big wire. Let's see. I could do some wooden beads. Yeah, I do ones that got larger, the larger holes. Let's see. These all might be. These might all be little. Uh, oh. Dang that, it's like got the little necklace thing I got off of something. That would work. Let's see. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head for the ears. Oh my God, Sharon. <laughs> would that be perfect if you have Mr. Potato Head ears? Oh my God. Your mind, the way your mind works, Sharon. Like, you belong in this group. I tell you, you belong in this group. These beads actually would work. Hold on. <laughs> you belong with this group. Hold on. Okay. Okay, leave in the middle. Look at fuzzy beads. Look at turquoise fuzzy beads. Ah! Hold up. Okay, that went down on my computer. I gotta look for that later. I have a bunch of them because I don't want my dogs to get it. Also, I wouldn't care, but I want my puppies to get it. Okay, let's see. What matches? Does that kind of match? Look at fuzzy ones, too. Let's do like some fuzzy ones. And some. Hey, anyone that does beads, don't judge. I'm just, we're just playing. I'm no bead expert. I just, I'm just having fun. If you're watching the recording, we're just having fun. Why not? Because we can, right? It's my mannequin and I can give her, I can give her a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Oh, Norma got you. Did Norma make you a, a necklace? That's nice. Did you post a picture of it? Somehow, I still have glue on me. I thought I got all the glue. I see glue all over my thumb. I'm, I'm still sporting glue. And uh, apparently, I thought I got it all off. Or maybe just touching her head. I mean, it wasn't dry. I'm like, I still got freaking glue. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> I repeat, I am not an expert. As you see me dropping the beads. I just buy this stuff because I have fun with it. Okay. I am not a jewelry maker. I'm just a mixed media, mixed media artist that loves to try everything. If I could do that. And I could do like three over here. How does this work? I need, I could have that in the middle. Let's see. You got a decorator right. Hold on. Boom. Oh, I did this wrong. Hold on. I need, I need a dark <sighs> symmetry. It's got to be symmetry here. All right. So dark. Lord, if I could see it. Okay. Dark. Then a pretty bead. Okay, then a light bead. And then this goes in the middle. Hold on. That would help I put this on. All right, so I put this in the middle. Okay, dark bead. Oh, I can see why I would not be very good if I was uh, patient with this. This and this. I got these mostly to play with to do, like, if I wanted to add, like, 
thingies on books, more or less, to just make bead stuff for books. That looks pretty cool, actually. Okay, that's not bad. And that will, eh, if I get the beads not to freaking fall off. Hold on. I'm admiring it before I get done. Let me finish so it quits falling off. Get on there. Okay, so we're going to get some fake eyelashes. I have a scarf for her head. we got to do some hair. And um, I'm ready to curse. I'm ready to curse some more. I've already been doing it. I apologize, but I'm a potty mouth sometimes when I get frustrated. Just saying... So, dark light bead that. Okay. Now, if I wanted to, I could throw some fuzzy pink ones on there. Since she's got the mega pink lips and lipstick, I could throw I could throw a couple pink on there. Or I could just stick with the blue. I could throw some pink. What do you I could do, wait, I'll do a pink on each end. How about that? I'll do, like, my finish, I'll put, like, a pink one on each end. I'll do one more set. Tie a knot in the wire so the beads will stay in place. At the end, are you mean like after each bead? <laughs> do you, would you tie like a thing on it in between every bead? Are you talking about just on the very end? At least on one end. See? Okay, that, that. And then I need a dark one. I love these with the brown and the turquoise. I just love like I like those colors together. I don't mind brown when it's paired with turquoise. Oh, no. We got to make her beautiful. Let's see if that's enough. Damn it. Let's see. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm cussing again because the bees are really is making me mad. All right, I'm going to tie it up. Let's just get it on here. Skip the, oh my God. After each, oh, oh, at the last bead on each end. Got it. Okay, that I can do. That makes me way more sense. I'm like, I don't think I want to do that. For, okay, at the very end of each. Oh, and then that way when it's on her necklace, it stays in place. Ah. I right, get untangled. Hold on. I did a good job of tying it off. Okay, I get it now. Now if I could just get this untied now. Hold on. Wow, I did a great job. Confused myself. Okay, hold on. At the end of the thing. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to, how in the hell do I, hold on, Norma, this is not going to be easy. So I got to, how do I get, uh, a little, uh, this is thick wire, I'm winging it, okay. Like a little, a, like a loop, wow. You guys are getting beating lessons, and you didn't even know you were going to get beating lessons. <laughs> Neither did I. Okay. Wait a minute. I almost got it. I almost got it, Norma. Hold on. That's way too. Hold on. I don't like this. Hold on. Oh, my God. I am not. This is so thick, and I need uh, stronger hands. Hold on. This one actually is staying. What can I do over here? This is curled. How can I do this? Hold on. 
I got all mangled. <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Hold on. It's not moving now. You just had to bend the wire. Now I bent the wire. These beads are not moving. So I can honestly say whatever. It's working. Except I'm going to have to tie it in a fret now. Because I can't get the beads to move to the middle. They're not being nice. Hold on. Well, just by like just bending the wire. It not being like perfectly straight actually helped. I just got to scoot it to the middle. Ugh. Oh, good Lord. This is where I wish I had, um, this is where I get Tom to do all this stuff like this that requires hand strength. I'm always like, here, do this. I can't do this. If this is what it takes to be a beater, I would fail miserably. <sighs> Hold on. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm not going to give up. I wish I would have been paying more attention. That would have been helpful. I got this. <laughs> I got this. I swear I'm going to get this. All my viewers and all my viewers are leaving. They're literally bored to death. I'm sorry. People are dropping out like flies. It's only 946 because they're bored. I'm sorry. Okay, I gotta quit looking at that. It doesn't matter how many viewers are here. It matters who is here if they're having a good time. Ugh, I'm struggling with this stupid wire. Ah, it's thick. This would not be probably a normal wire. So it's just this only turquoise wire I had, and it's outstanding for her nose because it's thick and it shows up there. Now. I'm going to do a twisty thing. I think I'm going to do like just some sort of just twisty thing and not do an actual knot. I think I'm just going to do like a little twist. I'm going to do my own like a little twisty thing. And then that should keep it from moving. Like a twisty. Hold on. Oh my gosh. I got this. I got this. Oh. There. Ah. Designed by Colleen. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That way the beads won't move because Norma's right. They would keep moving on, I mean, sliding, like, like back and forth, like, um, like marbles otherwise. So this is, was a good suggestion. It was a very good suggestion. I'm just, like, I just screwed it up. And, yeah, I screwed it up. So I am doing that because they will move. And that will drive me nuts. Ugh. It's right now. Tom's like, he's sleeping. I know he is. Ugh. I'll be like, Tom, come on, do this for me. I need, uh, where are my jewelry thingies? I have jewelry pulled somewhere. It make my life easier. Now, now I'm thinking. Oh my good lord. <sighs> I just like I try to get rid of this like circle thingy. Ugh, tools. There's a concept. Good God, Colin. Okay. Tools. Imagine that. Jewelry tools. I'm like, I can't get this. It's going to look cool if I can get this tied on here, right? She's never getting this necklace off. If she doesn't like it, that's just too damn bad because it ain't cover coming off. Okay. Ha uh ha. -huh. Just having fun, people. I got this, Sharon. Sort of. I'm going to get this. I'm damn determined. 
This has made me so mad. I'm going to get this. And I can stop because she has a damn necklace. Oh, gosh. Fast forward if you watch the recording. <laughs> if you watch the recording. Fast forward. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to get fake eyelashes for her, by the way. I wish I would have thought of that. Like, when I was at the dollar store, and I was like, oh, a scarf, cool, you know? And I could get, you know what I mean? And I, I like the sunglasses on her head idea. So I could just change her out, you know what I'm saying? I could put a hat on her, a scarf on her. I could do the sunglasses. And, hell, Christmas time, I could just put a little Christmas time. I got it. Hallelujah. I got it, people. I freaking got it. And it's not going to move. So I got a little loop de losing on the end, like Norma said. It's Norma and not Lena. And I'm going to keep doing it till it stays in with me. And I got a little loop de loo. And then the wire got bent and it kept it. So ah, that was a workout, people. That was a workout. She has finally got a necklace to coincide now with her cool nose ring. And, um, yeah, I'm excited about lashes. I may be driving out to the dollar store tomorrow. I mean, if I could beat the rain, just to get a ton of rain. Okay. And then Tom would be like, what are you doing? I'll be like, I'm going out to get some eyelashes. What else? Right? What else would I be doing? And they better have some. That's all that to go on Amazon to find them. I'll be disappointed because I really just like to find it and get the instant gratification of doing that. Now, where's my pencil? Maybe I should do a pencil, pencil her hairline in. So if I hate it, I can like erase it. I got still a pencil on my desk here. You do a pencil thing. Pencil, pencil, then I can erase it if I hate it. So she looks pretty cool right now, right? This kind of helps distract from her weird eyes. So we get some eyelashes for. Her. We gotta need some hair. We got our, we got like our bandit. I also got two other colors. And I had more. These are the ones I picked, but they had more. Where's the others? I picked up these, but they had other colors. So now, but she didn't have like jewelry. So I wasn't thinking about that. So I have like this one, which is kind of like a Southwestern. I grabbed that. I also kind of thought about, I grabbed the headband because I was thinking if she had a headband, right? Then she could, then you could just like attach a, a butterfly or whatever. So, or flower. And I also grabbed this one. I'm not sure they match though. They had some other colors. I may have to do that because I, I could use these for other stuff. I might stick with the gray one for now. Let's see. Now I don't I feel like it's just too much green and not enough turquoise. What do you all think? Yellow hair? Do you think yellow hair? What's everybody think? Because her hair is gonna like even if I put this bandana on her, like her top of her head is gonna show unless I cover it up like she's an old lady. So the top of it's going to show. So I need to, her hair is going to show up here. So color might matter. So in the book, hers, she did um, a swoopy, um, a swoopy bang. Like uneven bang swoop. And then on the back, and then she kind of brought it together in the middle. And then she did some little swoops here. Yeah, draw it. I should use a pencil just because if you figure if it's coming down here, if I can get my pencil to work on the and it's probably not. And I don't want to do pen because I don't know if I can erase it. I'm going to have to wing it. This is frightening. I'm going to wing it. I'm going to wing it. 
I'm gonna try. I'm gonna wing it. Cross your fingers, people. Cross your fingers. <sighs> Eileen saying she needs purple hair. Well, you know, I could do is give her some 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 turquoise um, streaks in her hair. You know what I'm saying? Like I could give her some uh, turquoise streaks. Which I've had before. So I could do some turquoise streaks. Just saying. Start at the top because that doesn't necessarily have to. Or does it matter? It's it's the front that matters. It's the sides. It's the sides in the front that's going to matter, and maybe a little bit in the back. That's what's going to matter. So so if I'm doing if I had a smaller paintbrush, hold on. I grabbed more on one side, didn't I? Oh, good lord. Hold on. So let's think like um, we get pointy brush, get like some smaller brushes. So it could be like like a like a swirl in here. No, I'm gonna get the back done here and then. Make your hair out of strips of strips of paper. Oh, I like the heart on the cheek. I like that, like a tattoo. Strips of paper for her hair. Hmm. I like that idea. I've already started painting on her, but I could totally still do that, though. I'm going to stick in a yellow tone. I could get yellow tone papers for her hair. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> just going to see if we can just do like a... I don't like it. We could definitely cover it up with some paint. Or some paper strips, I mean. That's how my hair is. I have one side that's straighter than the other. I have one side that's like... More wavy than the other. It drives me bonkers. So I maybe shouldn't do that to her. Let's see if I do this. Also, I thought about doing. I don't know how much this is actually going to show with her scarf, to be honest, but. Oh, I just got some on my beads. Um, oh, my God. Yarn. Oh, my God. I lean. Seriously. That's freaking hilarious. Oh, my God. We can, I got some yarn that looks like dreads. We can definitely even give her some, like, Brady dread hair. Make you know we can make her really cool. That's a and I like that's really interesting. Seriously, I'm, I mean seriously, I think that's I wouldn't have thought to do yarn. See all the possibilities that this holds. 
kind of gets you it gets you thinking, right? You think I don't like Colleen's, but hey, I can do uh, I can do one better. I can do one different. Get you thinking. I like that idea actually. I need to get one coat on, and then if I'm going to do like any of the streaks, I'm going to do that too. Where's my white? Hold on. Maybe a little turquoise. I'm going to get my white. I think I might throw some, little, a little bit of. I like the idea of that because I definitely, I've had turquoise streaks in my hair before a long time ago. I had turquoise. I've had every, well, actually most of the colors I've probably had. I've definitely had turquoise before. And I had my bangs. And I had it like this and I had pink. And I had two streaks in the front. And one time I had black and turquoise. I had colored my hair black. Like a black, really black. And then I had this turquoise streaks in it. My neighbor's like, aren't you too old for that? And I'm like, well, probably. But, you know. You know, what the hey. I'm going to give her a couple. I'm going to do that. So if I'm going to make her hair, my hair is always short. I'll make her hair long. Let's just see. Let's, then we'll do one straight then. I think we're doing that. Gonna make it a little bolder. Wait a minute. <laughs> I totally did. I totally had this, and I and I liked it. I don't know. Tom said it was. He didn't mind. He's pretty tolerant of my crazy hair ideas because I've done them for so long. But I'm getting it where I'm like, eh, I'm 50 now, so I'm trying. I'm staying a little bit away from the crazy colors. Not as brave as I used to be. Where is my white? Oh, good night, Z. <laughs> Need four weeks time to die for her streak. There you go. She have to come back later and get the and get her uh, her roots touched up. Thanks for the eye tape uh, idea. That was brilliant. The nose rings, awesome. The eyeball tape. I almost thought in the magazine eyes, I mean, that, that actually would have worked too. It'd be like uh, that one artist that does the, she did the unmatching, you know, body parts and eyes and yeah. That would have worked too. You know, you could also do, you could kind of make her like she's for winter. You could have a knit hat on her for the winter, beach hat on her for the summer. And um, you could actually, you could actually uh, make her seasonal, put a Santa hat on her. Put some bunny ears on her for Easter. I could seriously see me like, like having some major fun with that. Actually, <laughs> should be my seasonal. Yeah, it's Easter. It's St. Patrick's. Christmas. Oh, what you would do for Thanksgiving? Hmm, that's a tough. I used to do that for Zumba. I dress up, but you know, we'd have for all the holidays. We would do that. We would uh, dress up for go in with uh, whatever the holidays were. It's fun. I like doing that. It is fun. Okay. Yeah, she's got her streaks. I don't know if anyone likes the streaks. I may just do turquoise all over. But I'm like, this is more of a greeny turquoise. It's a blue turquoise, but. Hold up. I have all I'm gonna paint in my hair because I'm itchy my eyes. Hold on. This is other. Let me find a different 
Uh, where's my Dean of Hate that has more of a, has a different turquoise? Let me change that a little bit. Let's see, it's more green. Let me go over top of this. It should be fine. This is more blue and less green. Hold on. It might look better. Yeah, I had several Dina Wakely paints that were no good. I had some Jane Davenport paints that were no good. And I had, um, you can see how lumpy this is. Um, some of her paints were bad. Yeah, some of Jane's and some of Target's paints were bad. So, yeah, so when I was organizing, I thinned out all the cruddy, um, I thinned out all the cruddy not working paints. I freed up space. I wasn't too happy about it, but you know, it's like the way it is. So kind of like this. Reminds me of of the hairdos. And then I had a really white blonde. It was fun. Oh, I've gotten, yeah, I gotten to where like I I'm I, I feel I'm a I'm like, eh, I just can't do this anymore. I'm thinking in order to have some sort of thickness to it, it almost needs to be like glob so it doesn't just look like a painted head. Like she needs some texture. Thick wire for her hair and crazy shapes. Wow, that's interesting. I'm gonna go and just put. Am I? That's an interesting idea. They put some crazy uh, uh, curly hair on there or something. And she needs something to add. Like it, it's too flat. You know what I mean? Because hair does not look like that. So it needs to be globby. I need to make it more glob. Now I got one coat on. Yeah, I need more glob. So that way her hair looks a little. More authentic, right? If it's kind of like globby. Otherwise, she's got some thin ass hair. So let me. Yeah, she needs to have some thicker hair. All right. Then I can have it kind of globbing and maybe parted like, like this. Like it looks like it's like a icing a cake or something. Need something 3D for her hair? Yeah, I agree. And she, I mean, that's why I was thinking about putting the... Um, uh, the headband on her, but yeah, because otherwise it looks, yeah, it does look weird. I mean, just with it just plain, yeah, I agree. What she did is she threw in like the white with it um, uh, um, to make it look like um, she smeared the white with it to give it some more, I think, I'm getting a green um, texture or like, I don't know, layer. She actually had kind of some white blended in with it. And I can see why. But at the same time, no one's going to have white hair. But then again, this is a mannequin. This isn't real. So one point, it kind of like one part of me wants to make her realistic. And then another part of me... Wants to not make her realistic, you know. What I mean, I think that's good. I think that's what's going on in my head right now. Get too much on her face. Is one part of me wants to make her like real, and one part of me is like, but she isn't real. Okay. I'm glad I got her book because seriously, I mean, this project alone. I would have not done. I wouldn't have thought of this. I'm going to put more turquoise in her hair. 
I, I just would not have done this. I think it's gut wrenching. I mean, creative. It really is. And she was like, hey, I'm going to get this mannequin head, you know, and I'm just going to paint it. That's what's fun about classes. And that's what's fun about the, you know, the classes and the books and gets us doing these crazy, crazy fun stuff, right? I'm going gonna, gonna to throw more blue in. I just feel like she's boring without it. So she's going to be turquoise and yellow uh, with blonde. She's, yeah, because it's just boring otherwise. It's just too, yeah, flat. You can see how I got it on really heavy, like in the back. So I threw that on really heavy in the back, the yellow, and I did that. So it looks a little more <laughs> sort of like hair, sort of. And I'm just doing with turquoise and yellow for fun. Kind of looks like a pumpkin, right? Stripey, it's too stripey. Hold on going to kind of mix it. See where I go with this. <laughs> You'll mail me out some <laughs> Sharon. You'll mail me out some hair. It's falling out anyway. Oh my God. That takes this to a whole nother level. <laughs> oh my gosh. CV. I'm glad you're having fun. Hope I'm not boring to anyone who's who's thinking this is the weirdest thing ever. But again, it was in her book and it's fun. It's just fun. I do. You saw my other stuff. I do other stuff too. I do a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything as far as mixed media. And I also just like to have fun. I love the nose ring and necklace for sure. I take all this paint and smear it into my uh, my journal, my desk journal, and it's left over. I guess you could have done is you could stamped on it. Um, yeah, you could definitely add yarn. Uh, Eileen said, "Oh my gosh, I'm gonna add that headband on her." But and I'm not gonna make her old lady. I'm not gonna it on there. You don't want to look old lady. You want to look cool. If anything, we want to look cool where it's real looking or not, right? We just want to be cool. Oh, good night, CB. Thanks for coming. I'm telling you, she's one cool chick. And I did all that work with the butterflies, and I just covered it up. I just realized that. How went on? I'm going to definitely have to pick up some of this paint. Um, that's for fun. I definitely, I want to grab a butterfly for fun. Seriously, I'm just gonna grab, go grab a butterfly out of my drawer. It was, and then I wonder how that would look if. Hold on. Ooh, I, I gotta dry her real quick too. I have to dry her. I kind of got turquoise and it's crazy crap going on, but if we hate it, I mean, if we hate it, just cover it up. I mean. Do something, gesso her head, start all over. Now, I lost the paper look. Now, if you just wanted to keep the tissue paper look, that's gone. So, if you wanted, uh, uh, now it's globby. Um, if you wanted the tissue paper look, you could have just left it. If you wanted her whole head to be like that, you could have just left it and kept it simpler. But that would not be me to keep it simple, just saying.
She looks a lot better with some color, right? With the turquoise. Once you get some eyelashes, like seriously, she looks a lot better with color. She really needed some color. It was just, yeah, that was just a bit too real, right? Dangles on top. Oh, yeah, like uh, you could, uh, yeah, you could get your black pen and you could do uh, do that over top of the paint or just, yeah, or without the paint. That's a good point. That's a great idea. I love all your ideas, Kathy. I love I love the way your mind I love the way your mind works too. You, yes. you have a lot of great ideas. That that's true. I mean, you could do like uh, definitely could do some uh, tangles on it. So like she was talking about the wire or whatever on top. Yeah, you, that would be neat. Is, is drawing the little zentangles. I don't know how good I am at it, but I definitely have to get, I have a couple books on it. I definitely need, I need to get a book out and, and maybe just look at it and copy some ideas from it because that's something I'm not super good at. But again, I try most everything, so if I'm good at it or not. I like it. And I wish you got some white in there just, just for some depth and fun. She had white on hers too. This girl's got blonde to the extreme. It, it turned white on her. That's a good idea. I mean, I like everyone's ideas. Like, it, you know what I mean? Just kind of like, it just gets you going. You know what I mean? You're like, I could do, you know? I like that this doll head is like made, um, inspired um, other creative ideas. Silly and, and, and different and fun. And I like that. I think that's a, if if R can get you when R can get you like thinking about this idea and that idea, man, that's just perfect. No matter what it is, get the juices going there. Too much on her face. I wear my hair forward, but this is like forward to the max. I don't like that. I'm kind of stuck with that tilt dries. I could throw some cream on it to try to hide the yellow. All right, so I'm going to do, let's try to dry this a little bit. Let's dry it. Then yeah, I want to see how we're doing with the bandana thing. Look how much your, like, her necklace is like literally blended in. Hold on. Necklace? What necklace? I guess I should have done the necklace after I painted, but you know. <laughs> oh, that's me for you. So, yeah, I probably should have done the necklace first. So, if you do one of these and you decide to bling it up, do the necklace after you've done painting. Just saying. The nose ring too. Freaking awesome. I that made my day to just like jab that in there. It's like, there you go. And she didn't feel a thing. <laughs> The bossy powders on her head to give her some uh, crunchy bits. Oh, you know, we couldn't use Eileen. We could use the um, 
all the one stuff, the fluffy, the fluffy stuff we all used to make fun of. Uh, that uh, we used to laugh with um, Paula on the fluffy powder stuff. You know, that doesn't stick. Whatever I can't think of what that is. That white stuff. You get different colors. Um, and I'll, uh, Dee Dee, uh, I don't know if Dee Dee didn't like it either. I tried to go, what oh, crap was that called? Now I gotta think about that. Um, felt, not felt, but like, is in a jar. It's like fluffy cotton stuff. Oh my god. There I go again. Can't remember it. No, it's like, oh, flocking. That's it. Mary Paula would say, what the flock? She would be, what the flock? Yeah. So maybe, yeah, if you put some, uh, if I still had flock, you could put flock in their, flock in their hair. What the flock? Yeah. Cotton balls. <laughs> Cotton balls on her head. Oh my God. I need to do, and this is all dry. I probably need to add like maybe some uh, brown or something to it to make it look like her hair is like, like natural in color. And maybe need to add like some brown streaks to it. To think about that. It's got so much paint on it now. I just gotta dry it. Like it just, it's just so goofy. It's goofy, goofy city. This has been fun. I've really enjoyed myself. I mean, this has been so fun. Hold on. She's got yellow on her eyeballs. Hold on. I got yellow on her sticky eyes. So fun. This has been a no stress project. Now, you know, Dee Dee made this um, mask of hers. Um, yes, yeah, Eileen, there was the flock. Flocking was this fluffy cotton stuff, like you just had a glue, like put a bunch of glue down and glue it on like it was awful and that was in flocking and glass beads oh the stuff was terrible it never worked right most of the time it's one of the end that was like a mixed media kind of end thing a long time ago we all tried it none of us liked it I'm pretty sure Dee Dee didn't like it either. And I know Paula would be like, what the fuck? All uh, her Paula-isms. Sharon didn't get to um, meet Paula. I think she's three since Sharon came into our group. But, like, her head's starting to foam up in the front. It's getting all foamy and weird. I gotta go to the back. So you can find Journal Artista on uh, YouTube, Sharon. And Journal Artista, and you could, um, you can Google her. And, or not Google, she's on YouTube. But she was on YouTube and then she went to Ustream. I don't know. I'm assuming she uploaded some of her Ustream to YouTube when Dee Dee did. It'd be her older one before um, when we were, uh, everyone started like when they were like deleting videos. And those, I think her and Dee Dee were like moving videos over to YouTube at that point then. But you can find Journal Artista and you can watch some of her videos and you can see what she was like she's like she's around she's just not like been streaming so it's nothing has happened to her thank god she's just she's she's busy and has working and, and i think her and her grandma passed away and some other stuff let me get some 
brown. Here's my brown marker. Oh, actually, let me get my brown. I'm trying to figure out if this is dry enough. I can go over. It's starting to like get all weird in the front. It kind of bubbled up. So I may have to just let it dry because it's starting to get weird. I don't know if it's just the paper or the glue or just the fact it's foam underneath. I think I'm going to do is um, get like a brown um, pit pen. Um, and I'm going to like add, go through and kind of make the turquoise not be your, your whole head. Like, you know what I mean? Like it look like it's, it's, highlighted turquoise but she doesn't have turquoise hair so i think i'm gonna go through with some or she has blonde streaks some turquoise and then add like some brown and i've had multiple colors like that before so and then that way she'll be then i kind of tie in the, i think maybe the black around her face and stuff or i put some black streaks probably will go brown and then if i don't like then i can always add black on top she needs some like she said, Zen tangles or something like she needs some lines or like take the black marker like Kathy was saying when this all dries and it's, it's bubbling. I'm going to have to let it dry by itself and do um, like she said, like some cool Zen tangles and the black over top. I kind of like that idea, too. I mean, that would be kind of neat to do that. Then it's then it's like especially if you're doing it like this and you're doing it in a vertical to resemble hair. And then you got the color, and then you're bringing some of the black back. I'm, I like the Zentangle idea, Kathy. I don't know. I'm not super great at it, but I think I would give, like, give a whirl. I like the Zentangle. I may do that with the black and the brown. I mean, black, I guess, since she has all this. What do you all think? Try some, when it, try some Zentangle over top, like in, in hair strands. Oh, good night. Good night, Norma. I call Lena. It was fun. I'm glad you had fun. Thanks for coming to my channel. And thanks for help with everything. So I hope everybody had fun. That was my goal. So I guess I will try to get off of here. I'm going to let her head dry and then maybe do some Zentangles streaks or whatever. I'm definitely going to give her some lashes. And um, and then I'll post a picture on Instagram or um, and Twitter for everybody to see her. But right now she, I just need to let it dry because it's starting to bubble and it's not like in the heat gun. So and I'll leave it dry and then I'll go and get my Zentangle books out and um, see if I can find copy some patterns off of there. Okay, I can do that. I'll put you a link for Paula um, on Twitter so you can find her um, her older YouTube so you can just kind of like meet her. Um, can, I don't know who was on last night. Who was on last night? Thanks, Kathy. I, <laughs> Okay, you don't like her. I need to work on her mouth some more. You've been Googling patterns. <laughs> so you, the senses is in. I need to work on her mouth. <laughs> okay, I need to do uh, fake lashes, then tangle some black hair streaks. And fix her lips. <laughs> okay, let me write this down. I'm going to write it all down. So I'm going to be cleaning up after. Okay, got the fake eyelashes. Okay, we're going to fix her lips. And Zentangle. So Zentangle her hair. Got it. It's wrote down and I will do that. To clean up this mess. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, our lips are a little like, yeah, a little crooked, but it's not my fault. I was following the dummy's lips. The dummy's lips are kind of like that actually in this area. Like she's got weird lips. Just saying it's not my fault. It's the, it's the, it's the head's fault. <laughs> I was just following the lines. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you had a good time. I had some really good laughs. Oh, I can't help it. It was fun. Well, good night, guys. Thanks for hanging out. And I will post some pictures when I finish fixing her lips. Add some false eyelashes, which I'm super stoked about doing. And then doing the hair. She needs some more help with the hair. Just saying. Yarn. Whatever it takes. I'm glad you had a good time, everybody. Never followed the dummy. I was just going by with the lips that were there. Oh, goodness sakes. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow on uh, somewhere, I'm sure. Well, for sure, Twitter, if anyone streams. I think Shauna streams tomorrow. Thanks, Eileen, for staying the whole time. I'm glad you have fun. And remember, tomorrow your package should be there, Eileen. So hopefully your package arrives. All righty. Good night, everybody.